the city, ask us about what happened. Basically, go throughout the night, find or meet Beckett, uh, Iggy's sister, um, at the inn we were at. Decide to meet her in the morning. She gives us a tour of town. Uh, takes frickin' frack off of our hands and lets us stay at her house. And then uh, these two went to a temple. Oh, and then these two Raven Queen. went to a temple. And then they were like, yo, we should get everyone together and talk about this crazy shit that's going on. Lit. Yeah, it's about to be lit at the wizard's tower. Um, the wizard's name is next door. And uh, I bought some super fucking expensive armor that won't be ready for seven days that I don't even know if it's goddamn worth, worth it. it. But Before we even be in he town spent in seven all days. the money. I put my money on you. You're not going to see that armor. Hmm? Tight two minutes on that one. Cool. <coughs> That'll work. Copious. I also got really high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great, dude. What's up? <laughs> yeah, great. Hey. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, in that time, Gabriel, you uh, you heard about a talent competition that happens every now and then in the, in the city. Uh, the prize money is a couple between hundreds and thousands of gold. Uh, you wanted to try and get information on it, but with the role that you got, you didn't get much information, unfortunately. Um, what is the fucking competition? <laughs> <laughs> but um, so at this current moment, the party is gathered. At Beckett's house, she has given you a key to the house to lock up uh, should you guys decide to leave. Uh, it is reaching the afternoon. You guys have gone through uh, your activities of the day. Uh, what are you all planning on doing at this moment? Well, Water Road's been nice, but we should probably be leaving now, right? Have you not been here just just for fucking with you? <laughs> Hard no. Um, so, yeah, no. <coughs> With Thomas I, I, I and good gold down Michael, be home from work by now? I just have I missed some questions. Would they be home by now? Yes. Yes. I don't know what their work schedule is or what you can check. Okay. She you showed you where they lived. A so. man of the forest, right? Yeah. Could you not have harvest some kind of special wood while you're out there and use that to turn into to have some armor like commission? Well, to have it commi- I mean, she builds things. Ha! Um. They explode. If you haven't remembered my garage. I'm just saying, I'm, but hopefully this works out. Did you, did you tell you what it was made out of? Some sort of a shell of an aquatic animal. I mean, it actually sounds like it would be strong. Yeah, I'm hoping. I hope it's a lobster. <laughs> Unless it's just Oh, you know what we need to do before we, before <laughs> we do anything? Did anyone happen to stop by the shop and pick up any potions? No. Uh, we don't need to do that right now. I have plenty of potions. Oh, you do? So yeah. Can I have one? <laughs> Why? That before the last episode ended, you guys uh, had a chance to do shopping. If you if you <coughs> wanted to go buy some potions, you could. Actually, yeah, retroactively do that. Give me my potions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I have retroactively act of bought two potions? All right, uh, regular potions of healing. Uh, how much are the greater? Uh, greater potions of healing are one hundred and fifty. How much are the regular ones? Fifty. <coughs> I will take two regulars. Okay. Well, that's a weight off my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I believe, no, never mind. You've probably healed more than I have, but I've done a fair share. Yeah, you guys have held your own. You've gotten, you, you, I think, I believe Oris has probably like healed more, but you've gotten more out of like clutch situations. They're down, healing where For you're sure. Yeah. But, but, but yeah, man, how many wins have you got? So, that is, yeah, I know, but still, it's like basically well, she, has a, she has lay on hands. You guys aren't going to do anything. I'm gonna go to Michael's and Thomas. You're feeling like. Are you okay, Iggy? You it's, sound, like, uh, it's like laying on hands. Or it's like basically having like. Uh, never mind. I, I guess. Whoa. I guess I just. It's been a couple hours since I saw you. Just, you just sound weird. <laughs> oh no. Uh, <laughs> no, it's when you can see within 60 feet. So. Yeah, you know how clutch that is? Because you get to give it out as much as you want. Did anybody um, confirm that we're meeting? Everyone's meeting at the wizard tower, or? Uh, well, I, I, we haven't confirmed. I told, I told the the priest. Of well, Beckett said she was gonna talk to the head wizard at the wizard tower to get a meeting with him tomorrow. Is oh, so it's, so it's not, not even confirmed that this guy even wants to see anyone. Correct. That's what it sounds like. Beckett can work her ways. Is it, but I trust her. Is Beckett at work right now? Yes. I mean, worst case scenario, we just 
have them meet us at the uh, the chicken place. I just told the head, the high priest for the Raven Queen Temple to meet, not be busy in the afternoon. Tell me you've been yeah, to all no, these. I, I, I told him we would send a message. You've gone to all of these. You've gone to all of these churches, institutions of uh-huh. faith. <clears throat> now, yeah. did you happen to see since you was, since like uh, we know that the little kids supposed to be in this town? Did you see did anyone any any of these churches wear similar clothes to what we saw in well, the dreams? No, I, was I wasn't the one. I, was, I didn't I was see the dream. Look out for him, yeah. mm, so. so we don't know if this kid's even here. Hey, maybe he's no. the wizard. I'd like to go <laughs> look for him though. We should. We could do that oh. today, and huh. then maybe go check the uh, job board to see if wizard. there's anything no. else we can do because. I'm waiting for my armor. We're gonna have to kill some time. Yeah, I'd like to go uh, look for. Her. I'd like to also him. recoup my losses. It's just gonna be. You're gonna buy this, and then like the next thing, we're gonna find something. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. No, um, Larry wouldn't do that. What's the resale value? <laughs> what's the resale value on sea turtle armor? <laughs> Jesus. Um. But yeah. What? Why don't we? Uh, we're kind of landlocked here. Want to go look for the kid? Yeah. Go check the job board. Jenison, Jenison Drew Mock. So the whole time, the whole time you guys were running around town yesterday, you didn't even ask anyone if they knew a kid. I'm not sure. It's kind of weird. Same day. It's kind of weird. Yeah, Yeah, I'm not sure. I'd be like the little punk ass bitch owes me money. Like, Uh, that's still weird. Still kind of. How is that weird? To say someone owes you money? A child. A child child owes you money. Thirteen year old. Hey man, I don't judge. Maybe he smokes. Anyway. Um, and I thought I didn't get it. The day's still young. We can go and look for him still. Look at Barnes. And there are no schools in this city for young minds. Yeah, how is the school district uh, here? Do I look like I live here? Let's go bucket, to town bucket, bucket, hall. Bucket. She is not there. Ah. It's a <laughs> Let's go to. Uh, I'm just looking at a bucket in the corner. <laughs> bucket, like, bucket, 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 bucket. <laughs> Let's uh. Let's try to hit the job board. See, there might be a listing for a missing child, possibly. Okay, let's give. I don't think he's missing. What if the head yeah. wizard is Dumont? And the, dream, the necklace a, just showed us the past. His child that would mess my head up. His child. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my small brain couldn't. It's pretty couldn't small. Understand that? Yeah. You have to have big IQ. Well, uh, put a stop. Big brain. Uh, yeah, let's go into town. Yeah. Let's go, come on. I'm headed over to Michael's and Thomas's place. I gotta grab, uh, at, at some point during the day, I need to take you Larry, no, and you to the side. <laughs> I'm kidding. Mm. Oh, this cool. disconnects? Yeah, oh. it did. Um, <laughs> so. Phone's dead. <laughs> uh, no, it just disconnected from the thing. Oh my but, god. Um, oh my so, god. who's heading where? You are heading to sister's. your sister's homes. Uh, and the rest of you? Uh, going to look for the, at the, the board. Mm-hmm. We're going to look at the board. We're looking for children. Um, <laughs> yeah, creeping looking for a small boy. Mm. And you said what time of day is it? It's, like uh, it's reaching about four in the afternoon at this point. This is day two, right? Also, maybe no. we could... Um, Ta- uh, technically, second day. You guys rested that night. And this <coughs> is the ne- day after, basically. Yeah. Did you buy your armor yesterday? No, no today. today. Surprise. Right, buddy. You Just look a lot more stressed than last week, dude. <laughs> we had well, th- last week we didn't have to. You're so mellow. Stuck here for a whole week. <laughs> we didn't have to stuck no. here. We didn't have to stuck here for a whole okay. week. Okay, let's let's get let's well, get this train of moving. Do you do you have somewhere to be? <sighs> no, but you know, why do we want to stay here? This place is it's not, actually not too bad. Eh, it's kind of a boring town. A great There's chicken. a circus. Oh, no. There's a, a great circus. circus. Wait, no one told me there was a circus. And a great you chicken spot. You saw it yesterday. Well, <laughs> you literally well, slept thanks across a lot the street. for telling me, guys. <laughs> it's okay. Jesus you were Christ. too distracted <laughs> by Hope's beauty when you guys danced last night. I heard about I did. I remember this tango. But he was also, but while he was there dancing, he was thinking about a child, a small boy. So, you know. <laughs> he dreams of dancing with a And small I'm boy. leaving. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go, guys. Oh, man. So. I'm trying to fix that. One last time, who's going where? Go to the job board, or the the bulletin board, the notifications. Everyone except her. Yeah. Everyone except her is going to the bulletin board. I'll meet up with them if my sisters are not home. All right, so, thank you, Carlos. So. What's the honey nut? (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> so, uh, everyone can who is looking for jobs can make a investigation check. Are we looking for jobs or are we looking for? I'll look for the kid. You can look for the job. Okay, so you're not going with the job board thing? I'm going with him. I'm just looking for something specifically. Oh, it's him. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm rolling an investigation. You too. Yeah. Uh, well, whoever's you're looking for the them. jobs. I know. So we'll looking are we, are for, we all yeah. Yeah. Look for If you're looking for a job. That is a natural one. I cannot Ooh, see. Ooh, investigation. The only one's a 14. Or like a... Uh, make a perception check. 17. Uh, no, Percentage? Perception check. See if you can notice the sound from Cryer. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I believe really have to pull up my character. 19. 19? Yeah. Okay. Um, with that, okay. <clears throat> You do notice, uh, walking about the streets, uh, you, you hear uh, some, this is a nice man. Uh, someone is going around talking about, um, not as much yelling as you just, but eventually just like spreading the word uh, about a potential invasion on the city. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's based off of <coughs> events happened the day prior. Um, <laughs> Uh, and that's probably that's mainly the biggest pieces of news right now. It's just something that the guy spreading out information, but you are able to find a prior. I'm like, as I walk up, I'm just like a little cough cough. I'm like, thank you for spreading the warnings. I do appreciate that, sir. Yeah. Uh, actual act of listener. Let me let me bother you for a second. Can I? Um, I'm looking for a a family, the Dumont family. Um, I'm a friend of uh, Mr. Dumont, but I haven't been to the city. Um, where can I find him? Not a, you're, you're a friend of the mayor? Uh, well, um, you should be able to see him at City Hall. Perfect. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. All right. <coughs> watch, out, watch out for that. Quick in your boots, everyone. Yep. Lock your doors, hide your kids. You said it. Wait for it. <laughs> I rolled a 22. 22, okay. Uh, so from asking around, you know that the majority of the requests are placed in the barracks. Uh, and anything that <laughs> anything that the guards deem uh, either too, too outside of their jurisdiction or um, uh, not worthy of actually sending guards to. They'll put a notice on boards or uh, flyers around the barracks. Uh, but that's usually the main place to go to if you have the job inquiries. Can I go to the barracks and inquire yes. about a job? Yes. Um, but, oh, barracks? Uh, yeah, the barracks is to the south. You know the city hall to be the exact opposite direction. Is that where you're going? I can tag along with these uh, these, uh, these these guys if you want to run up to the uh, city hall. They probably the government. They probably closed down at a certain time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I can go. I can um, go. I can go to the barracks. I'm good. Hey, we'll go to the barracks. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Uh, we'll split up. Yep. That's never. That's not always working. a good idea. Never yeah. All right. I'll go with the boys. We'll uh, hope, uh, make sure he doesn't go swing that hammer at anyone. Oh, yeah. What if, what if there's a nail that needs a hammer? <laughs> Let me get that. Thunder is I'm just walking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already, like, walking. I got it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm with uh, the boyos, the bios. All right. And uh, I got to pull them across. I got to pull them to the side. All right. And, three uh, boys. Uh, you, the three, three boys. It's just us two. It's just us three, right? She yeah. went somewhere else? Uh, no, she went somewhere else. Yes, yeah, yeah. so you had to go check on her sister. Right. No girls allowed. But Kayla's here. All right. So, after hearing the discussion from earlier today, um, I don't know what's going to have to happen, but when we get into that wizard's tower, someone might have to do some sneaking around. It wasn't me. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was outside. That was, outside. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> some crazy shit is that weird. Downtown Fort Lauderdale. Hey, you're breaking the fourth wall, guys. But, yeah, like, I'm very aware. There's because it's he's cl it's clear that he's made himself his feelings felt or known that he's not going to do anything. So what we're going to have to do it's probably sneakily. 
and yeah. I don't know if we have to, I don't I doubt we're gonna have to like kill a kid or whatever or like what do we know? Did, did the thing tell you what it was? It's like an orb we're looking for. Um, <laughs> I had it written down. What was the? He said you'll know what it is when you see it. He said he knows <laughs> what will know what it is when you see it. And it's in the wizard staff. Yes. I feel like the only, the only person who's going to be able to kind of find it is going to be you. Yeah, well, if we can get in there without much hassle, I'll see if I can... Shanty off? You know, uh, fancy footwork my way out of the, out of sight. I think, uh, I just, think my dude's moon. It's just <laughs> moon walking <laughs> into, the, into, the sh- into the shadows. Just <laughs> if <they're all. laughs> Doing the lean with the nails in the floor. Oh, so, man. If all, um, I should come with you. Because if anything, my wild shape could come in handy and turn into a mouse. Can you sneak? Yeah, I can. I'm, I'm a fucking cat. Hey, don't get sassy with me, kitty. I swear <laughs> to God. It's a question. What is the what is the what is the quietest creature that you can turn into? Like a mouse. A but also, if someone sees a mouse, they're not gonna be like very. It's a fucking cat. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to know it's me. Fair enough. It doesn't matter how far Now, is this like a were rat? No, it's just. I, I'm not gonna show you right now. <laughs> it's fine, don't, don't worry. Okay, let's get to the barracks. I just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same but page. Yes, what, what you should do is tag along with the, the yokels, the local yokels, and kind of do your best to prolong these talks to give Boyo and I ample time. You hear from the, some ruckus going on in the other room. The other room. In the barracks? No. Oh, wait, you guys aren't at We're like in the, the, we're in the thoroughfare, like <coughs> the side. I pulled into the side of the street. Yeah. <laughs> Give me something else. Sorry. Good to you. <laughs> What's going on with Toon? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Where's my dog? <laughs> but yeah. Alright, so plan, plan established. Oh, right, right. Um, let's go to the barracks. Uh, so, with the destinations in mind, um, Iggy, you do reach uh, your sister's homes. Uh, they do, uh, going to the doors, they do not seem to be home at the moment. Are their husbands home? Uh, <laughs> Roll a percentage check. I said we might not have to kill the kid. Huh? Roll a percentage check. Percentage? Because he's clearly fucking trouble or something. <laughs> Damn kids are not like If we just killed every troubled kid, we'd have 90. 90? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Fair enough. Make a wisdom check. Wisdom? You're never gonna get married. Eight. Eight? Yeah, you know. It doesn't even note on their doors. Okay. The separate one because yeah, paper? they hate. Okay. Uh, so, what's the note saying? Um. Head over to Beckett's when you get home. I'll be there waiting. And then head off to find these two. The group, not knowing that they had split off. All right. So, uh, those heading to the barracks, you would reach there before um, those headed to City Hall would get to their destination. Entering the barracks, uh, it is a large (coughs) uh, stone building, um, very, very wide. About two stories tall, which is by the looks of it. Uh, entering inside, there's an array of just looks like desks, uh, just in rows heading back. Uh, you see, as there seems to be two stairways that lead down on either side of the barracks, along with two uh, doors leading to the left and right. Uh, immediately to your left, there is a large desk uh, with what looks like to be some type of a reception area. Behind that uh, desk, there is a half work uh, male. Seems to be going through some paperwork at this moment. Um, roaming around, there's just an abundance of the guards and other uh, city officials working. Who looks like they're in charge? <laughs> okay, perception check. Uh, 
not very good. Um, that would be a 14. 14? Uh, everyone's wearing the general, this brown armor <coughs> that uh, you recognize. Uh, the, the uniform, to, you recognize to be the uniform for or Oro, uh, but there's, you don't see anyone who seems to be any higher authority than anyone else. Okay. Okay. Um, who looks the most nervous? Who looks overwhelmed at their job? Who looks like a new guy? I'm uh, getting another presumption. Much better. Um, 23. 23? Uh, so, uh, just looking around, um, you can see that there seems to be a human uh, at a desk on the side. Uh, seems to just be stacked with just large piles of paper. I'm gonna walk <coughs> over to him and just like put my hand on his desk. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm here about the job, the big job. I'm sure they told you that we were coming. Uh, Come on. No. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's, Time is money, my friend. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. It's my second day. Uh, so go find me a cool last day, son. For the, big the biggest job that you have. Uh, make a deception check. Ooh. You can make it with that vanish this game. Or something. My deception was not bad. Okay. I'm quite a deceiver as well. I'm quite the deceiver. The most deceitful. Oh. That's with advantage. Uh, Ten. Uh, Ten. Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, do, do you have like some sort of identification? Do we have on identification? You? You identification? Identification. Yes. I, I don't know you. You don't seem to be wearing <coughs> the guard armor. That's because this we, job is not we, for guards. We met with Captain Morlania yesterday, and we spoke about this. Another deception check? Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, Captain Marla. Okay. okay, I'm sure. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Right, right away. And you see as he just like moves, uh, quickly rushes from the desk. And you see as he goes, a couple of pieces of paper like fall off the side. And like, <coughs> tries to go for it, but it's just like, <laughs> okay, and rushes off to the side. While he rushes off, can I like, I'm not gonna like move anything on his desk, but can I kind of like see if I can read anything? Useful. All right, uh, make a investigation check. Sherlock Holmes, that shit. Uh, investigation, that's 15. 15? Okay, so looking through, uh, just trying to like gaze over the thing. Uh, it doesn't seem he doesn't have anything important. As he said before, it's his second day, so it seems like the majority of the paper on his desk seems just like grunt work, uh, guard, just, just different types of this formal information, but nothing any, of any real importance at the moment. Okay, so I guess we're just waiting. Okay. It takes you about 10 minutes. Uh, you see as he comes back with a folder. All right, uh, so, uh, if this is uh, what you were talking about, uh, be sure to, I think this is up to you then. Let me grab it and I'm going to thumb through it. What does it say? Right. Uh, so you see as uh, they, they seem to have been having quite a bit of trouble with increasing number of goblins uh, in the nearby area. Uh, <laughs> far more than usual. Uh, and they're trying to figure out what is causing it and to get a stop to it. Uh, a number of guards have been going missing uh, who have gone and checked on it. That's right. Thank you, Jerry. Walk out. Oh, that's not my. Oh, okay. okay. <coughs> All right, Larry. I mean, Jerry, whatever. It's Gary. Gary. Okay. It's Harry. Larry Gary. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. So wait. So the big job is to what? Go kill some goblins again? <coughs> yeah. We already know what. We already know what that shit's about. Reward? It's, it's not like killing. It's finding out what's the cause of the increase. Yeah. It's called a angry platinum. fish in the water that wants people to fucking worship it. Or whatever the hell that is. Also, it might have something to do with the uh, smuggling operation we might have uncovered 
on the way into town. Disappearing guards and all. I wish you guys were here. Anyways. You were there, yeah, man. You're not there? Um, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <coughs> once we get out of the barracks, I'm going to like open the folder and show the boys the big 200 platinum reward. Folders are for the boys. Um, and I'm going to put it in my bag, and then we're going to trot. Where are we trotting to, boys? The whorehouse? What? No. <laughs> we still have things to do. We need to meet up with the rest of the party first. Okay. Maybe after this, uh, after this one goes down. Shit. Yeah, no, we need to do shit. <laughs> it's just like, you need to think about it. He's like, no, no, no. Can't, can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> so, heading, uh, switching over to Oris and Hope. You quickly head over uh, into the noble living uh, district of the city. Uh, the buildings over here are all made out of stone, uh, and many of them have their own little gardens out front, and uh, just very uh, decorative and boastful uh, living. Uh, you see, as um, you do pass by another one of the Sweet Hope uh, inns, and this one seems to be a much different standard than the one that you are currently staying at, uh, as it's uh, there is multiple, the tables all have their own decorative cloths, even the ones next outside, uh, along with different uh, decorative things that are just adorning the walls the outside and even hanging from the trees. But you pass this as you head over to the city hall area. Um, in entering inside this area, you see as another one of those statues <coughs> on the left and right, uh, similar to the one in the military district, uh, the same dragonborn uh, with the same uh, hammer. Excuse me. Um, to the left, you see uh, the city uh, hall uh, with multiple people entering and leaving. Excuse me. And to the right, you see what appears to be like a bank of sorts. God, bank. <coughs> so I guess let's check out the city hall first. And if they're not there, maybe they're <coughs> there a house nearby. I'm assuming they don't leave the city hall. Maybe they do. Yeah, we'll walk in. I'm looking for the kid by any chance. Maybe he's just walking around. Sub check. 17. 17? Uh, you do not see him. Uh, uh, but as you are entering uh, into the city hall, uh, the inside of the city hall is adorned with just uh, paintings uh, all over uh, of different, you see men dressed in different, uh, the same suit, uh, looks like it, just this, this brown suit uh, with these green trimmings around it, uh, and the, uh, this looks like a pin on their chest that says the unbroken. Uh, it says what? Unbroken. The unbroken? Yes. Uh, all of them are wearing the same attire? Yes. Uh, but it seems to just be uh, as... Uh, look, uh, but uh, there's different uh, halls that lead to both the left and right and are down uh, this massive it's a corridor that you are currently in. Uh, to the left and right of you are two desks, uh, one that says uh, official and one says foreign. Inf uh, uh, foreign business. <laughs> Behind the desk, there's multiple people. Uh, this is a series of men, women, all wearing this, um, very similar to the men in the painting, but not anywhere near as fancy. Uh, just uh, without the pen, uh, this uh, brown clothes, but they all, all just seem to be going through papers, addressing people that are walking up to the desks. Uh, but there, this place is quite a bit of people in it as well. Uh, 
you managed to get to the what? Which desk are you going to? Um, what did we say? The official. The official. Yes. Okay. So reaching the front, you see is there's a female, uh, looks like elf, behind the desk. Ah, yes. What's your business for today? Him from? Uh, it's um. Actually, kind of personal. It's personal. Yeah, uh, I don't know if his parents would have won. The mayor's boys. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't really just get send you to the mayor's side. <coughs> but don't you have any type of paperwork? Something so I know you're not committing anything malicious. You can take our word for it. <laughs> it's not gonna help. Do we look like malicious people? It don't really sound like friendly people. I'm just gonna see a what? random kid. Man, we walk in. What? Did we, I'm sorry, did we offend you in any way? Can no, it's just if, if you <laughs> are coming here looking for the mayor's boy, you can't tell me why, the who you are. Because it's a personal matter. Well, I, can't, I, I can't just bring you to a child okay. that I don't yeah. know who you Can are. Can you bring us to maybe his parents? <laughs> At least. Make a persuasion check. Oh, God. Can she do it? No. <laughs> you're, at, you're the one asking to see the parents at this point. 17. 17. I can see if he is busy. Uh, what a percentage check. See how busy he is. Very busy. 99. 99. Oh, 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 oh. He is the busy. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the middle of the world. He's mayor of the world. Of so. delivering three babies at the <laughs> it's like I'm not even the saviors, <laughs> all the, the saviors of the world. He's, he's also he's also playing cat a cat on a burning And she directs time. you to sit as she goes off to. She, you are sitting for what seems like 10, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And eventually she does come back. Unfortunately, he is too busy. He's all booked for the day. Um, when can you see him? Uh, you can request an appointment. You can fill out some papers, and as soon as convenience. See, uh, she goes wow. over. Uh, she goes over and she pulls out this like book. And it's just okay. <coughs> How is four days from today? About midday. Is that okay? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess his illness can wait. We don't have to. Yeah, no. He can still live for a couple more days. Yeah, he won't, he won't die right away. His illness won't get to him mm-hmm. right away. It's fine. Yeah, no, he should be fine. I mean... I mean, the scabs. I mean, if we get to it right in exactly four days, maybe. No, should be fine. Four days. Maybe after deception. <coughs> Somewhere across town, I'm cringing. You are, you are talking hey. about a very well-known why. child in the city. <laughs> <laughs> Either one of you can make it. I shudder. Well, four days from today, midday it is, and I hope he holds up. And the name for our saviors? Boris and Hope. Boris and Hope. Have a good one. Uh, yes, female elf. Not of concern. Oh, it's not. Mm-hmm. Next it's person. <laughs> Next person, and you see it's like someone like pushes past you. <laughs> Hope's real. Karen Hope. Can can Hope. Can I new haircut. Inside of the building, besides the people in line, is there anybody else not in that uniform? 
Not in that uniform, make a perception check. So with the, with the aside from that, it's just the guards who are just patrolling inside of here along the entrances and exits. Uh, but no one who seems to be of any like higher caliber. There's guards just watching this lobby place? Not yes. Moving. There's a number of guards in here. Uh, there's guards around the building. I mean, in the general area. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go sit outside at the stairs, I guess. Okay. And watch people coming in and change a spell. I don't think I can do that, but you're finally off the beginning of the day, buddy. It has to be at the end of the day. Beginning of the day. When you wake up, that's when you can it does up. it does so happen that I already have it from last time. It does. So why do you need to prepare it? Yeah. I thought I didn't have it. Mm-hmm. I, I swear on... Seems a little sus. I swear on cord. Hour. No, I swear on cord. It's right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it right there? I mean, you just right said there. it. <laughs> way, if, you, if you got it, you got it. I'll let it go. If you got it, you got it. I'm just trying to RP it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, good. I won't <laughs> do that anymore. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'll, outside I'll be like, um, and I'll cast Sending, and I'll picture the boy in my head, what he looks like, uh, his name, and I'll say like, hey, Jenison, it's Horus uh, from the dream. We're in our road, um, sitting here at the uh, City Hall entrance. <coughs> um, Is this like a come out whenever you can. Is that an unlimited list? Don't tell your parents. Can you count that? <laughs> yeah. Pull a percentage check, please. Why? No. You was 71. 71? Okay. A few moments pass by. Uh, I, I didn't expect you so quick. Uh, I'm at the Wizard's Tower. He said he said he's at the wizard's tower. Should, should we go there or should we wait here? He didn't say if he was going. Let's go there. Yeah, but is he? Let me see. Words? I don't He didn't say if we could see him or if he could come down or if he's busy or Let's do it. Send it. Fine. Full set. Okay. <clears throat> so, first, second, experience. Um, I'm going to say Ignatius. You do meet back up with uh, Gray, Gabriel, and Ithril as you guys are returning to where you were meeting, headed to. <coughs> this is like, uh, so you said, you did say like this is like a uh, large city? Very city. large city. Very large city? Yes. It's not as big as Bindle, but it's bigger than everything else. True. Um... Well, I don't know about you guys, but um, if you don't have anything to do, I think I'm going to get a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> you are. Yeah. No. I mean, it doesn't seem like we have a lot to do today, so. Are you gonna get a board? What are you gonna get a tattoo of? Um, I was either thinking of like autumn leaves blowing or like Blue a feather blow. landing on the water with a ripple kind of effect looking thing. Have you ever seen it? You know what? You want to go watch this? Because I'm kind of <laughs> about it. Depends on where he gets it. Where are you getting it? I don't know. I have to look it up. No, where? Oh, I was thinking of um, on my on my ribs right here. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, I'm down. We've got to wait for... At least not a tramp stamp. Fruit and fruit. Yeah, lower oh. back. Lower back or nothing, bud. Huh? <laughs> lower back or bust. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have one? Can I look for no. a tattoo show? Oh. Yeah. Uh, make go an go investigation huh? check. Oh, oh come on. Back. Big butts, no whammies. Fuck boys and a fuck boy. Yeah! Investigation? Yes. 20. 20? Okay. One. 21? 21. All right. So you know that there's two places in the city that uh, can off get you what you need. Uh, you can check in the commoner living district, uh, and there is a a tiefling that specializes in tattoos, uh, and, or you can head to uh, near where you are staying. Uh, there is a decorative place. Uh, with a elf who does that too. I trust the tiefling. Uh, you know the tiefling. Uh, you, the elf is more expensive. The tiefling is more artistic. Yeah, I'm going, <laughs> the I'm going to the tiefling shop. All right. Um, are we at Beckett's house when we made this decision, or are we out on the road? I'm say you guys met on the way to Beckett's house. Okay. Um, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, uh, the two of you are headed to the top wizard's tower. Okay, so you would have reached there before they reached their tattoo parlor of sorts. Um, arriving at the wizard's tower, uh, or the entrance to the wizard's tower, there's only one entrance into... Actually, yeah, no, there's four, sorry. Uh, <laughs> There are four entrances. There are four uh, times. One as from as well. at every direction, north, south, east, and west, uh, <coughs> to the wizard's home. Uh, outside of this, the wall that surrounds the wizard's tower, there are um, this lo these large wooden gates uh, and a number of guards uh, patrolling at the entrance to them. Uh, they all seem to be closed at the moment. But, uh, no guards. Huh? They are. There is a number of guards. In front of Ding dong. Uh, you approach, you're approaching the gates right now, or are you just like we're, we're like approaching, like almost there, like you should. <coughs> oh, business. Okay. <laughs> you have papers. Now, head off to the street through. What kind of Official documents or designating that you belong here. You're not conspiring or anything. Does he not see anybody but people from here? For the most part. Okay, we'll get that for you. Where do we get that? <laughs> where, do you, where do we get that? You can check with City Hall or the guards. <laughs> or, the guards, or the guards or the uh, barracks to see if you have to make sure you actually have a reason to see him. Come on, no. We're gonna go, we're gonna go get that. Wisdom check real quick. Me? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll just give it to you for This place right here, where you're going to, the Wizard Tower, is the hub of the city's magical defenses. So, yeah, keeping track of who goes in and out. That, that's, I understand that, but like, this dude, this dude is, is, it, is he the Pope? <laughs> like, do we have to to like, them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'll just go outside and blow one of those horns. Horns. Make a perception check as you guys are heading away. Thirteen. The dormant, Wait, I'm sorry. the uh, that 
that was a percentage check. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a great roll earlier. <laughs> Ten. Ten, okay. So that's all you need. So during the tops of the wall that surrounds the Winter Tower, there's a number of these, looks like beasts, made out of stone with these large wings uh, that are just looking down on the city from uh, these walls. Uh, you notice that they are not along any of the other walls to build of uh, that shoot along the outskirts of the city, except for around the Wizard's Tower. Looks like these stone beasts with wings. All right, well, uh, hold on. Before we leave, like, and then I'm going to cast a sending spell again, like, hey, Jenison, um, <laughs> this place sucks. Can you just come out? They're not letting us in. Don't say friends. I'll try. This is not FBI arrested. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you willing to wait? As fucking long as it takes. As long as it takes? Cool. Uh, cutting over to our tattoo. <coughs> so you guys head over to. Sorry, this one's going to go. Uh, you guys head over uh, to. What does like fantasy heavy metal sound like? Because that's what I feel like is playing. <laughs> like a very distorted blue. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you guys head over uh, to <laughs> the <laughs> Commoner Living District. Um, asking around, you eventually. <laughs> <laughs> asking around, you eventually learn of the the Tifling you are looking for. His name is Himbeck. Uh, he lives in a small house uh, near uh, Sweet Hope, uh, along the side of the uh, wall. Uh, reaching your destination, you see a small house with a, an array of different, looks like colorful plants that uh, are located around the, his house, uh, along with just multiple rocks that seem to be just uh, mashed with different things on top. Uh, this house is colorful to say the least uh, as the wood and stone are just decorated with just different paints uh, and aesthetics play, uh, placed around uh, there's some knocking on the door okay one minute <laughs> you, you. hello there <coughs> Are you humble? Yes. Hi, and who might you be? My name is Gabriel. It's a pleasure, Gabriel. And your friends. And Iggy. Um, Iggy. <laughs> this is the tattoo. And it's real. Oh, come in. Come in. Come in. Um, you How see, long as, is it going to take? Huh? How long will this take? Well, you can't rush art. But um, we will estimate. discuss that. Please, please, please. Now, again, just, for, just before we get into this. I'm not trying to get a magic tattoo. I'm just trying to get tattoos. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you, he does not offer magic tattoos. Uh, he, he offers very, very elaborate tattoos. Okay. Uh, but uh, but he, uh, entering in, you are immediately hit with the smell of just like, looks like incense uh, burning all over the place. You see as uh, little twigs with some slight incense, steam, yeah. steam coming off. It's just, uh, okay and sage and other things just seem to be burning and filling up your nostrils. Uh, all of the furniture in here is just decorated with just different elaborate designs, just circles and shapes and a couple of uh, just like symbols. And it looks like what would be runes, uh, but uh, nothing, of, <laughs> no, no specific spell. Uh, on the side you see he has, uh, looks like rows and rows of different ink, of just like colored inks. Uh, along with some type of uh, a, a table, two tables set next to each other. Uh, he suggests you to sit down at one place. So, what was it that you would be looking for? Um, I'm looking to do something with some beauty. Okay. <coughs> um, I was thinking of, yes, I was thinking of Let's say that is the wrong, wrong, wrong button. Yes. <laughs> We're just going to use this one, I think. Nope. <laughs> I 
Yes. <laughs> Wait, you ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing something. It's all good. Um, so I'm basically going to explain to him that I want to do like a like a, a red flower like that sticking out of the water and a red and white or a black and white bird's a bird's feather uh, in in the water making the ripple With and then black glove under it <laughs> <laughs> and um said and said no bird feeding on the nectar of the flower okay so you see as you are describing it he has this large looks like this uh, large look like pamphlet that he opens up and he just begins to just, like sketch as you describe, you see, as he's like going in, he eventually like uses his tail to pick up a candle and just like light up the sketch pad. As he's just like going oh, in and just describing it. Uh, oh. Eventually, uh, with his performance check, uh, he turns it around and it looks almost exactly like you, what you imagined uh, as you describe it. Uh, it's about um, how big? About five, six inches. I'd say I'd say flower here. Bird feeding on flower, yeah, so so flower going up here, bird feeding on flower, bird winging water, making ripples down here at the bottom of the rib case. So all rib piece. Ooh, perfect, perfect. Well, that would take roughly about five Day. hours. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm going to Beckett's. I'm waiting for Michael and Thomas. Point. I will take it. Uh, I, didn't, I, ch I charge roughly 50 gold per hour for your masterpiece. So what's that all together? Huh? 250? Yeah. Uh, 250, yeah. Ah, I take 250. Put it on the table. Okay. Uh, would you be awake or asleep for this? Um, if you he's have, gonna be awake. If you have sleep magic, that would be what excellence. Oh, Don't magic. be a pussy. You see as he goes Fish, over. And then I walk out. <laughs> he goes over and just, uh, he, he reaches and just picks off a couple of, uh, looks like herbs as he begins to mash them together. Ooh, cool. Uh, herbs. As he as he mashes them together, he eventually like puts it on like a cloth and just puts it across your face. Uh, make a con check. Fucking chloroform. Smell this. No, but uh, fucking uh, you said con check. Safe throw. Constitution yeah. saving throw. Yeah. Four. Four. With within moments, Gabriel <laughs> is just like, oh, this isn't good, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and he is just out. Um, you, the, those who decided to stay, you see as he goes over to, to another room and to, uh, a few moments pass as he comes back uh, wearing, it looks like painter's outfit, it's just entire, just, these look like white clothes with just ink splatters all over him. Well, he's uh, in the room on with, with Greg Ray, keep him distracted for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. But, uh, he see, in both hands, he sees that has like these two very large needles as he just Ooh. begins to just dip them into the ink and just like and just go in uh, and begin to work out his masterpiece. Uh, but, I'm just uh, gonna make like small talk with him the entire time and just be like, okay. Okay. nice. Okay. I'll, I want to try and sneak those herbs, those sleepy herbs. Oh, you can make a slide of hand check. Oh, can I? <laughs> just want to try them. Or, where, like, where do you, uh, where do I see him get them from? Huh? Where, like, did it seem like a normal place? Or was it like some? Uh, this is the plant in the corner. Plant in the corner. That is a 17, 20, Chevron. 27. Yeah. Uh, can you please not? Uh, uh, I would prefer. Jesus. Christ. Was it a natural 20? No, it's not natural. Okay. Problem. Can you please not? <laughs> I'm like, not until he's like, oh, just admiring. Like, what, what herb is this? I'm quite curious. It's, in, no, it's uh, quite delicate. Hmm? What is it called? Huh? Uh, Restaurus. Restaurus. Restaurus plant. Write that down. Restaurus. Write that down. Where would you write get this? Write this. <laughs> <laughs> Cat, write this down. That's so good. <laughs> Where would you find this Cat, in the wilderness? Can you smoke this? Uh, I personally bought it off of a ship uh, near um, in Bindle. Oh. But apparently they grow. Uh, in a forest to the south. In a forest of what? To the south. To the south. Interesting. Far south. Interesting. Interesting. Does it have? You are asleep. Does it have to be? You are asleep. I'm asleep. Sorry. He's just mumbling this little bit. Eyes in the back of his head. My God, man. Not my horn. Hey, could I? Could I interview you in something a little extra for my friend while he's out? You want to what? I 
Can you tattoo my name on the bottom of his foot while he's asleep? <laughs> Make a very hefty <laughs> universe. Check. He is a professional. You need a, basically a natural 20. You do us a great favor. <laughs> I'll pay good money. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make, pay, get, roll that natural 20, buddy. Pay triple the amount. Seven. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to be like, 20, do it. <laughs> <laughs> See, if he would have done it, if he were a natural 20. This was like 20. <laughs> this was 25 to get that one down because that is permanent. Uh, but unfortunately, sir, I'm a professional, so I will not take stint my art as he continues in uh, working on. But the rest of you, uh, Oris and Hope, it takes three hours uh, before you see as the gates uh, that you are uh, standing outside begin to open. Uh, you see as uh, Beckett is coming out uh, and she is doing some type, uh, as she is pushing, sorry, Jenison out, uh, he appears to be in a wheelchair. I see, uh, oh, thank you for coming. Uh, Be Beckett, how's it going? Uh, uh, hello. Uh, I didn't know you knew uh, Jenison. I didn't know you knew Jenison. Well, we do. Uh, Jenison, <laughs> nice Lord. to finally properly meet you. And I'll reach out. Shake your hand. He's just as in the dream. He is wearing this. Looks like a onesie with the uh, snakes. It's like uh, a onesie? I thought it was like a robe. It's kind of a robe, but it's more of a onesie. Oh, no. <laughs> but it's just well, it's got a boo boo on all over. Um, and he wants to kill him. <laughs> Bitch, I'm asleep. Just, just, <laughs> just snakes uh, all over the. Uh, but are they cute snakes though? Huh? Are they scary it's a cute snakes. little are they like. Scary? Uh, it's a mix, actually. Oh, just some of them and are like scary just, snakes. Yeah, <laughs> cute ass here, but uh, thank you for coming so quickly. Um, I didn't expect you to be here so fast. We were supposed to be here a lot earlier, I think. Later. Oh shit! Dude, I forgot to ask you. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's already being done. Enjoy you your nap. Um, and you went to sleep. Beckett, uh, Iggy was at telling us that you were um, going to ask the wizard to see if he could meet with us tomorrow. Was that uh, something you could use? Uh, yes, he has uh, agreed to subject you to tests. Uh, should you pass it, you will meet him. I'm sorry, what? He, he has a thing. Um, basically, he text, tests people. Can pass this <coughs> test, we'll meet you, but. Uh, this guy. I really <laughs> don't want to meet him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fine. That's why you're laughing, sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh god, I already, I already don't like this guy. I'm sorry if you guys. I'm sorry, are, he's got a thing. Got, I'm sorry if you're friends with him. I don't like him. He, 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 I, <laughs> I had to pass it. So. What kind of. Yeah, what kind of test are you? I can't tell you. It's a math test. Multiple choice. Can't tell you. Is he gonna inject me with? I don't need it. I can't tell you. I don't need it. Stuff. I can't <coughs> tell you. It's about well, to go. You're about to go on a spirit. I have this urge. Beckett, to would you? Uh, do you think it's possible if Jenison was to natural. join us tomorrow as well? It actually. If he wants to. Yeah, you see, he looks up. And just yeah, like it nuts. actually it, it concerns <laughs> what. Uh, you know what it concerns. Okay. Um, well, again, I'm, I'm, I'm just here to help him out, so. Okay, uh, well, what time is the test <laughs> starting? Uh, whenever you're coming, here you come. Oh, so now we can come whenever we want. We don't need some permission. For, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not you guys, it's not you guys. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> this town's really getting old. <laughs> from, for some random reason. You, you see as like the guard you no, spoke to is like side-eyeing you. I don't, I don't know. Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what time do you want to do these tests? And is it all of us or is it just me and her? All of you. Great. So we sure all have to pass is it any all physical the tests? tests? Because our friend Gabriel's not very good at those. Is it a physical challenge? No. You're not there. Is there any no lifting there. involved? No, it shouldn't be any. Okay. I've probably said too much already. Shouldn't talk about it. Come on, slide ahead. Okay, well, I think we'll see you guys at just after, uh, just after sunrise. Yeah, probably pretty early because uh, we want to talk to him a little bit before 
we meet with the Fae. Okay. Well, I'll be here for about a couple more hours before I head home. Jenison, it was great to finally meet you, and you, yeah. you, you know how to contact me if you need me, right? Uh, I guess you, you can Can you do a sending spell or a regular sending spell? No. No? No. Okay. I only do enough to just get by, but not there yet. So why, sorry for uh, just coming across as rude, but you're in a wheelchair and you weren't. Uh, it's just something, I, I was born like this, <sighs> fortunately. I can sort of walk, but it's not really that easy. Well, there's alternatives to walking too, so don't give up hope. Like not walking. <laughs> don't give me up. There's always uh, those flying boots. You could Get Never uh, seen one of those. But I can only imagine so someone there of you. <laughs> flying boots. I was just imagine <laughs> two spaghetti noodle legs, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. He's just getting dragged around by the feet. Yeah. What about, what about flying racers? Iron that would be pretty. So cool. he hangs. <laughs> no? I'm coming. <laughs> Steve Holt. <laughs> Steve Holt. Yeah, Sorry. Can so, I can sort of walk, but. It's, 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 it's not that <laughs> All right, well, well, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll try to think of a way Kim. of solving all of, all of your problems. All right. We got no Are promises. you going to get a fucking green mile No this? promises. <laughs> no <laughs> promises. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> see? Turn around and head back in. Yeah. My backup character, John Coffey. Most. So. Uh... <laughs> The rest of you guys, um, you wait, the five hours do eventually pass. Uh, Gabriel, at one point, uh, throughout the uh, tattoo, you do just come through and just, ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> <just> like, <laughs> I want to. <laughs> it was coming handy. As you so begin well. to feel the I thought of, of something afterwards, and I was like, it'd be kind of cool. So you remember the rainbow wing from Pokemon? <laughs> no. Ho-Ho's rainbow wing. Oh, okay. How it shines. Do you have any shiny inks? Can you make me make this tattoo shimmer? Uh, a little like too late for that, buddy. Yeah. yeah. You're not already paid. I uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, the five hours do pass. Um, eventually, uh, he does give you some herbs to wake you back up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Gabriel was fucking speedballing. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I really wish I could have robbed this guy. Uh, he hasn't. He is. Useful. He uh, <laughs> he hands you uh, like a couple of drops of the same uh, mixture that he used to put you out. Uh, he says you can take that to get some rest tonight. It will be very uncomfortable to sleep on your side. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Mm, but you are bearing through with that pain, but. Okay. I go buy some painkillers. Huh? <laughs> that was just sleep stuff, right? Huh? Yes. Um, hey, right? You had that week? Not for you, dude. That shit's fucking wild. I told you, <laughs> you can't have that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That'd be funny. <laughs> we leave. <laughs> we so, leave. Iggy, yes. you said you went back to Beckett's house. Yeah. Okay. So. That's where we're going back to Beckett's. Yeah. Uh, you, you come back to Beckett's house. Um, oh, you see, uh, as uh, Frick and Frack have made quite a bit of mess in the other room uh, with Toon. Oh, boy. Uh, as they seem to have been chasing after Toon while Toon has uh, made a mess. My boy. As you are running, as you open the door, you see as Toon is running by, uh, running past, and freaking Fracker just like coming, rushing after him. But what are they doing to my boy? <sighs> I'll let freaking Frack take care of it while I clean up the mess. All right. Did they run out of the house? No. Okay. Uh, I'll leave the front door open. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hoping that they run out of the house. And oh, that no, they, they find them. They've gone missing. All right. <laughs> Fortunately, they did not run out of the house. <laughs> but uh, it takes you a better part of about uh, a little over half an hour, but 
parts. We managed to put back together everything. Fortunately, nothing broken, just a mess. Uh, but uh, the rest of the party, uh, eventually you all do, I'm assuming, hit, make your way back to Beckett's home. Unless there's anything else you want to do before. Maybe before. pick up a bottle of whiskey. It's probably pretty late by now, huh? Huh? It's probably pretty late by it now. It is very late. Is it there is, a bottle of whiskey? Yeah, they didn't get out of the tattoo place till 9. Um, like just on the way to Beckett's, if I see like a shop, I grab a bottle of whiskey or something like that. Yeah, you get a bottle, nice bottle of whiskey for about three silver. Three silver? Yeah. No, sorry, about five. No, a bottle? Bottle of whiskey. whiskey. Sorry, about uh, two gold. And two Dixie cups? Huh? Two gold. <laughs> two gold to get you a bottle. Yeah, I'll throw, I'll throw the two gold down. All right. I'm going to need this. I'll throw, I'll throw, let me, let me get a bottle of whiskey too. Jesus yeah. Christ. Okay. Uh, it cost you three gold. A lot of whiskey. cost you five gold. What? It cost Cat you three gold. Why does it cost me three gold? Uh, because they are running out of stock. Supply and demand, baby. Is this some racist shit? They are right. Literally, as, as, as soon as he I buys the, it, I bucked up one of like, two bottles of whiskey in the whole he's town. He's got a fucking tail, too. What's your problem, bro? You already got a stock. You can't you can price gouge like that. You can persuasion the manager. Check. You can't just do that. Persuasion check. <laughs> I believe. Gray doesn't believe in the open market. <laughs> <laughs> Comrade. Comrade uh, question. Let's charge you three gold if you want it. 19. Huh? For the persuasion. Oh, you, you, you managed to come bring him down to I'm just like, screw it. Dude's pretty fucking racist over here. <laughs> <laughs> Slam two gold down, I walk it's away. It's another tabaxi, like, no, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was what? me, it was me. My <laughs> best friend's a tabaxi. My best friend's a tabaxi. <laughs> I have three tabaxi friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay, it's okay. So. I have a tabaxi friend. My ex was a tabaxi. Same <laughs> boomer. <laughs> As you guys eventually reach Beckett's house, the <laughs> night is going. It is getting relatively late. Uh, you do see uh, as the streets are getting relatively live at this point. Live. Well, um, today was not too much. Um, what did you two learn or do or what? What did we learn today? Oh what yes, I've almost forgot. To, I got to, I have to show you something. Almost forgot. So I got I got to this today. It's all bleeding oh, yeah. and stabby. <laughs> like, yeah. It look like you see, shit. it's like the part, the side of his shirt has just got blood. It's just just a blob of blood on his side. But you do see through the blood. It's just a very very nice tattoo. And I figured it's for the color of the flower. What's not? What's a better? Not a better color than red. Oh. Brownie. I mean, it is one of the colors huh. of the rainbow. I'm good. Is she red? Also, yes. my oh. uh, complexion is Boy. red. The skin of. Oh yeah! What a coincidence. Boy, Look at that. I'm at Beckett's wow. house and I'm rolling my eyes. I don't know why, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> this boy dancing. Brownie point. No, we're all at Beckett's house. Aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah everybody's at Beckett's okay. house. Do you know why you're wrong, uh, right? Yeah, now <laughs> and I will have some shots of or a drink of whiskey. Oh, this boy to try to relieve the pain on my taking rib, rib cage. All right. So I'm also going to drink your whiskey. <laughs> Wait, why not your own? Shut whiskey? up! <laughs> <laughs> you're not there. You don't know about the whiskey bottle. I'm saving. <laughs> you weren't Save there. Right. You were never there. So. A few hours pass, and eventually, uh, cool. unless you guys plan on doing it. Where is Bucket yes. at? I do. Okay. Beckett. Where is Beckett at? She said she'll be here uh, soon. Um, but actually, Gabriel, if I could talk to you for a second. What is up? Um, and I'll just sort of like move him away from the group. Um, and I'll take a uh, bottle out of my bag. Um, I got this for you. What is it? Uh, it's a very, very nice bottle of wine. Ah! Well, um, well I wanted you. to thank you because uh, you're the first one to go down into the uh, into the pit and you didn't know what was down there, so. Well, he would have done the same. I have no, no doubt in that. But yeah. I do appreciate the bottle of wine. Let me see this. There you go. How much was it? It was, like it was 10 gold. I believe it I was more. It's just it's like a, a, it, was, it was a very nice bottle. Just like a 52 Mordeaux or something? Uh, <laughs> not no wine, but sure. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, it this is, is a nice bottle. Very nice. Good year. Yeah. Stocks were up that year. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great Well, point. thank you very much. Great. Uh, Enjoy your dog. I will like save this for a special occasion. 
I'll tell you, it, it's good to know that somebody made a mess. would be up to doing that for me. We were all going to be there. It's just I was the first one to take the point. <laughs> and that means a lot to me, so thank you. You are welcome. Um, I'm going to spend this time. No, thank you. Uh, okay. I'm good. Not going to yell at Toon because I don't want him to grow up <laughs> <laughs> a culture of violence. He mm. doesn't need to be scared in his own home. You're going to rub his nose in it? All right. Uh, make no. an animal handling check. It's not that kind of mess. Yeah. I hope. Animal handling? It's clean. Yeah. Toon got uh, 19. sick. 19? It's too gross to roast anything. Okay. Uh, he does recognize the error of his ways. Uh, he does promise not to do it again. And then I go <laughs> to frickin' frack. If you chase my fucking dog again... <laughs> I'm gonna pluck both of you. I agree with them. <laughs> Don't you fucking touch him. No stabbing the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold. <laughs> Only holding and petting. They've been sharpening their knives this whole time. Yeah, so <laughs> did you feel like did you like did you just like sit down with Toon and like start cast speak with animals? You just have to talk with them. Like, yeah. Oh boy. I'm being a good dad. You just Hank killed that. Yeah, I'm being a good dad, and then like freaking fracker my like shitty step like nieces and nephews that I don't give a fuck about. Let me yell at him. Alright. Can't be chasing my boy. Are you the type of dad that doesn't allow anybody to yell at him? It's nine. It's nine by now, or yes. Well, it's a little bit. Almost at ten. Uh, so well, still nothing for Michael and Thomas? Still nothing for Michael and Thomas. Huh? Still nothing for Michael and Thomas. Is there, do we all have our own individual beds here? No, you guys are sharing one. Oh, you there's guys. two beds you? in this house for people. Uh, it, but there's, aside from Beckett's bed, there's two beds that she offered you guys. Oh yeah, we did talk about this. I guess I will have to construct my hut. <sighs> and then I'm taking those drugs and going to sleep. Uh, the, what's it called? Ithril. Yeah. Oh, The uh, tavern's not that expensive. You want to just go stay at the inn? Wait, before before you guys head out, um, I forgot we saw Beckett at the Wizard's Tower with the kid. Why are oh. we at the Wizard's Tower? The oh, because the kid was the, the Wizard's Tower. Um, the kid was at the tower? So. Uh, didn't I tell you to like wait until we spoke with Beckett? Or at least Beckett well, we spoke us? with Beckett. She said, can I finish? Can she said that we have to pass a test to talk to the wizard. Sounds fair. Why does this wizard have a tower? Why do they always have towers? It's Lord of the Rings thing. I don't thing. know. You sound like a pompous dick, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, Excuse me, madam. <laughs> so we have to pass this test time. to talk to him. So I told him that we would be there just after uh, after sunrise. So, okay. Yeah, I guess we have to prove our worthy to this... Our it's worthy. Oh yeah, who does this? Who does this city align with? I always forget. Nobody. Nobody. They're they're a they're, they're a free town. Mm. Free town. Free. It's called being precocious. Uh, precocious. There, there we go. So, you guys are. So you said you two are heading. Uh, uh, that's you guys. Sleep. So. I guess there's, I can sleep. Well. There's plenty of space in the hut. I'm too, taking though. drugs in the hut. Yeah. Night. You very quickly fall asleep. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Damn it. Natural 20. <laughs> cool. Not fall asleep. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Drugs don't work uh, anymore. It is painful to lay down. Okay. Try try more. Uh, make a second constitution saving throw really quickly. Try more whiskey. Out. Oh, that's better. That's only, an, it's, it's only an eight. Cool. That was something completely different. Um, Shit. <laughs> Infected. Uh, <laughs> uh, again. Um, so, uh, did he give me any kind of uh, ointment? No, he did not. Ah! <laughs> I clean this in the morning. Good night, everyone. So, who's sleep, who's staying where? Are you guys going to the tavern? Or? I'm gonna. Um, what's it called? There's just a hut. Yeah, I'm. I'm Off just gonna the better. smoke or hit my crazy weed one more time. Uh, Trippy whip it. Sleep on the couch. Speed. Right. Yourself? 
I'll find a bed. There's two beds. Who's sleeping in the bed? I'm sleeping in the bed. You're sleeping in the bed? I'm sleeping on the floor and where I can lay my little sleeping bag at any. Alright. Uh, cons check, I rolled a... 19. 19? Okay. You managed to fight off the effects. I mean, it's like... A, it's, a, it's a mild... It's a, it's a it's a good, but yeah. it's nowhere near as ha- as rough as it was last time. <laughs> that how you had it? Uh, it's a nice, mellow, enjoyable high. Cool. I sit on the couch, put my head down, <coughs> pat, pat the couch next to me. So Tune pops up, lay down on him like he's my pillow, like I have so many nights before. All right. And I pass the fuck out. And yourself, you're sleeping. I'm gonna wait a bit, about like an hour, to see who comes by. Okay. Should Beckett's husband be home soon? Jeez. Or is he away? Make a wisdom check. Sure. Boom. Oh my Eight. god. Eight. Eight. Gross. You don't know. Uh, I think he's asking about. But where are you sleeping? Uh, I was going to take the other couch, but Tune is there. I'll sleep with Hope. With to sleep. With who? With Hope. With Hope? Okay. So you. You I think he'll kill me. <laughs> you too. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, with you waiting up, though, you do He's see a, color, uh, a little bit after like 10. Beckett does come I'll through. Uh, Seems <laughs> very tired. She does come through. Bet you that night. Um, but she begins to head to her bedroom at the end of the hall. <sighs> Is real just hanging upside down on the rafters by his feet? Okay, so no, he's, he's in a bed. bed. He's in a bed. I can bet. I can bet. <laughs> the bed. Completely like symmetrically like <laughs> still like straight. <laughs> boots of boots of sleeping upside down or whatever. You all <laughs> you all begin to head into rest. Uh, the night goes by relatively uneventful. I need hope and Iggy to make constitution segment throws for the people. Oh not twenty. Oh. Natural one and natural twenty. Ooh. Okay. Oh, cool. Geez. Nice no. opposite ends of the spectrum. Cool. I got so excited. All right. So the night goes by relatively uneventful. Hope. Uh, as the morning comes, you feel absolutely nauseous. You're pregnant. It's my fault. But <laughs> Yante. Are you it? <laughs> you are absolutely <laughs> nauseous in the morning. It's gonna be a purple baby. But <laughs> as you vomit, <laughs> someone who was sharing a bed with her gets vomit on her. <laughs> Wait, I don't like. It is go you, over the other. It is just like you, with eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> Like you know when you're is it like projectile or is it like I've had uh, worse. Sort of like just crawls out of you. But it is just it is unfortunate. Are you good? I don't think so. I'm so sorry. Yeah, about ten seconds before it happens again, as you feel it bubbling. Okay, well I'm going outside again. You are on the second floor. You make about halfway down the stairs Uh, before uh, that again. Did Gabriel did this? Huh? Hops all new (laughs) room. I swear to God. Um, I'm just like taking okay. off my pajamas and the sheets. For about, uh, is anyone else doing anything? <laughs> Do, I'm running Does this wake me up? Is like, yeah, uh, yeah. You guys are re- waking up right at this point, but uh, you do hear as uh, those of you who slept on the couch, you hear <laughs> from coming down the stairs uh, as she does continue to rush out and go outside. Uh, once she is outside, she continues to just hurl her guts out. So. What does it look like? Does it look like food or something else? Um, it looks like a mixture of whatever you had for dinner last night and just vile, this nothingness. Just gross. But Are you okay, what? my dear? No. Frank, Frank, what is wrong? Clean up the stairs. Oh, no. Can I make a medicine check? Tune is at like... Nope. <laughs> nope. Can I, make a, <laughs> can I make a medicine check? Yeah. <laughs> Twelve. You have no idea. Seems just 
Maybe, maybe it's something bad. We'd better get you to the uh, to the doctor. Uh. Okay. Um. Hey, random guy in the street. Where is the closest doctor? <laughs> random guy in the street. <laughs> It happens to be that like, <laughs> that nervous guard guy. I'm a doctor. <laughs> happen to have one Harry. sleeping on the floor near you. You're not a doctor. He lets you know that Harry's apothecary is le- nearby. Harry's um, apothecary. <laughs> so just when they subscribe you cocaine for your ailments. <laughs> <laughs> no, just heroin. A glass of heroin. <laughs> okay. near, it is ne- the closest one is next to the circus. Uh, <laughs> I mean, du- directs you, we can go to the doctor. You can maybe have Hammer Boy. You look awake, aren't you? Yeah, everyone's pretty oh, much awake yeah. at this point. But she oh, was, okay. everyone is morning. waking up at this point, but she was very abruptly woken up to Hammer How's Boy. How's Beckett handling all this? I can't tell what's wrong gone. with her. Hey, Oris, um, Hope is like very sick or something. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to say you probably asked her about it, but she, she lets you know. Um, that her husband should be coming home today. From uh, so she is going to go off to work for him. Mm-hmm. But Beckett is not there as this vomiting fest as is happening. Not. Hey, Oris. Yeah. Ooh. So Hope's like really, really sick. Um, we were thinking about going to the doctor. That's a good idea, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I could probably help you. Um, oh, uh, do, do, do what you can. Um, and I guess first I'll try. Are you going to make her seasick, Stormboy? I, if that's what she, was that what you want? I could do that. <coughs> she is too busy puking. Oh, oh. Okay. You don't help nausea sometimes, some um, dank herb. Oh, some dank herb does help. Uh, can I do real quick a medicine check? I do have some of that sickness in stuff my that yeah. got you all screwy good. Make yeah. a medicine check. I think I have like two more things left. I got a whole little bag. Uh, oh, I'm still upset. I'm holding her hair. 19. I left 19? it off the girl. Uh, it looks like morning sickness. Morning sickness. Like morning sickness. <laughs> <laughs> but can I detect? Uh, can I cast detect poison and disease? Yes. What I do? Uh, nothing comes back. Nothing comes back. Okay. Well, you're not poisoned or diseased. Okay. What? Uh, what do I feel? <laughs> it, it, honestly, it looks like. It, it seems like. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Are you, are you pregnant? <laughs> okay. Oh. This is what? <laughs> um, I guess uh, I'll cast uh, Lesser Restoration. Cast abortion. I'll, 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 I'll end the conditioning. Jesus Christ. Wait. <laughs> 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 you said, Wait. You said <laughs> me killing a kid was going to be bad. I just say this out loud for a fucking reason. So, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Casting so, Lesser. Well, are we going to... Is that... Leza restoration. I just want to stop her puke. Okay. Can I do that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me look up. <clears throat> <laughs> Is that yes. I guess. <laughs> uh, so. The stomach, the sickness, uh, <laughs> 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 The nausea does very quickly pass for a moment. For what <laughs> it is not completely gone, but it has subsided, I will say. Okay, so. And it's calmed down. Why? 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 Well, usually pregnancy happens um, huh? when. Uh, You're saying that again? Well. Is it? Is it? I don't Did you? No. Gabe. Are you sure? I if mean, it's purple, it's mine. Am I it's sure? not. <laughs> and I don't know who's it is. Do tieflings. Load shock. Do, All right, we're going to church today. <laughs> <laughs> Still getting married. Can tieflings be magically inseminated? Is that a thing, what? tieflings? Miracle. Is it tieflings? Like wisdom or? check. Miracle demon shot. Miracle. She, uh, she carries. What is that check? While well, they're still going yes. on about this, I'm getting a bath ready for Hope. Um, yeah, I gotta. Ten? Eventually, I gotta try to ten? clean my tattoo. No, I cannot. Be, that's not how. T- tieflings get pregnant, same as everyone else get pregnant. My boy. Okay. Now, tiefling being born 
they, tieflings have been born as a result of humans can give birth to tieflings. Very rarely, but it happens. Uh, but tieflings get pregnant through sex. Can I do an arcana check to see if she's cursed? Yes. Curse the child. <laughs> what? <laughs> actually, actually, no, you cannot. That is actually a spell to detect. Is it? What would it be? What to do what? what? Detect curse. Is that a spell? Uh-huh. Wait, what? Detect magic? No. To detect a curse. Wouldn't it be detect um, magic? Um, I guess. Actually, no, you can't detect whether anything's cursed or not. Oh. Okay. Hope, are you done? I have a bath up here for you. There Thank is a you. bathtub on the second floor. Yeah. You, you know that. Um, I'm sorry. Very similar to the setup that you have at home. You, she, leading by your example, she kind of set up like, um, like a collection spot for rain mm. to pour into. Just like you see that there's a series of like, like ten buckets uh, attached underneath what seems to be a small opening <coughs> for rain to come in, uh, and it, that is all funneling down to a big tankard. Uh, that holds water to just use for a bath. I gotta try to clean my tattoo as well. Okay. So hope is still like all. It is very tender. <sighs> yeah, but I still gotta try to clean yeah. it. Okay. So hope is all still like thrown up and feeling like shit. No, she. Uh, she feel, she's not throwing up. You still feel slightly nauseous, but. Um, all right. So um, I'm gonna. Right before I take a bath, like. Listen, this might help. I use druid craft because I forgot I had that as a fucking uh, cantrip. And I make the room smell like lavender and pleasing smells. Okay, the good smells. So, I start vomiting profusely. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Gray begins to, you see, she begins for a second, begin to uh, do some Ooh. semantics from his hand, and you see as his. Uh, paws begin to glow, and this is like this blue mist begin to just emit from his hands as, get, as they spread around the room. And the room gets to smell nicely. Does it make me feel better? Yeah. Feels a little bit better. Oh. Thank you for that. You're welcome. And then I walk back downstairs. No. So. Um, yes. I'm with Hope, helping her out. She Just trying to clean my tat before we uh, go meet this wizard. Oh yeah, shit, we test. have to go to the wizard. Wizard tower. I don't think Hope is well enough to do that. Uh, she's fine. Uh, what are you doing, by the way? I am I'm sure that's watching this chaos around me <laughs> with like a really nonplussed demeanor. Okay. Maybe you can try healing yourself. Are you, uh, would that work? Uh, but yeah, no, I guess I'll just like sort of bathe or whatever. Are they are you guys gonna wait for me? Or? Yeah, of course. Okay. And then we go to the wizard's okay. tower. So it takes you your time, you take your time bathing. Uh, you manage to get yourself as clean as you can. Mm -hmm. uh, and eventually, everyone gets set up and ready to head out. Uh, you begin to make your way towards the uh, wizard's tower. Let's see. Sorry. Uh, as you do, you begin to just pass through uh, the cities, just people in the streets and crowds. Uh, and reaching the <coughs> exterior, uh, I need uh, Ithril to make a charisma saving throw, please. Oh boy. Uh, charisma would be a hobo. Oh no, sorry, 19. 19? Yeah. Cool. You're fine. Uh, you Where were we? In the streets? Huh? Yes. <sighs> so you guys are traveling. Um, you see it's just uh, going through crowds. Eventually someone just bumps into you. You just manage to just brush it off. Uh, it feels I like to be touched. Uh, <laughs> he, he gets <coughs> <stuck. There> you. <laughs> go. uh, you guys reach the outside of the uh, doorway. Uh, the guards just halt. Take your business. Is this the same person you spoke with yesterday? Yeah. We're here to see the head wizard. We're here to take a test. She's right there. Names. <laughs> I'm Iggy. The action Ignatius faction. Ignatius Manhast. My good sir. The action faction. Uh, and it's not. 
I mean, Beckett the thing set about it up for recognition. us. Uh, so I don't think you know Stop who talking, you're Gabriel. dealing with. Stop talking, Gabriel. What? Uh, but he does recognize your name. He says mm. that you are clear to go through, and the rest of you. Does he not see? Is he the same? This is not the same guard you talked to that name. Oh, it's not the same guard. No. The wizard okay. is expecting us. You can ask Bucket, Beckett, or you can ask Jenison. And your names? Horus. All right. Your name is Proof through. Gray. He goes through, if everyone gives up their names, uh, he nods and just looks go through so the list allows you all to enter through. Did I notice who bumped into me? Like, did I get a look at his face? Uh, no, you did not. Mm. It is very shrouded in darkness. Mm. Shrouded in darkness, say less. I'm already interested. Uh, this boy's in the streets. So, uh, you guys enter into this uh, large courtyard this massive, massive, st- dark bricked stone tower. Uh, uh, in each of the corners you see as there is uh, this large uh, tree with these pink flower petals that adorn the entire, uh, uh, in the entirety of it. Uh, around it, the, there is this small little stream of water that circles around the exterior of each of these trees. Um, Along the sides of the tower, there's just, uh, looks like runes or other things etched in to it. Uh, uh, whether decorative or an actual enchantment, you don't know. Uh, but there is a door on each of the uh, four sides of the tower. <clears throat> do I recognize uh, this tree? Hmm? This pink tree? You do not. You don't need to make a check. What? Yeah, like four separate like doors, or just four? Like one door on every side of the tower. There's, there's four sides to the tower. <coughs> there's a door, a large door on each side of the tower. Should we knock or? Uh, uh, open the door. I'm it opens up. I'm gonna also real quick before we go in. I'm gonna take one of the petals and put it in my notebook, and I'm gonna write about the tree real quick. Is pretty. Okay. Is this the way? Uh, uh, so. Excuse me. Uh, entering inside. I was looking around to make sure we're going in the right direction. <coughs> you enter through the southernmost gate, I'm uh, Entering inside, uh, there is appears to be, uh, looks like a series of seats that go along the exterior of this room. Uh, it's a sp- relatively small room, looks like a, look, what would be a, a waiting area. Uh, but there is a large door uh, uh, at the back of this room, uh, along the sides of the the, bur- the border of the door, uh, you see written in what you can tell multiple different languages, a door of many kinds. Uh, uh, you can tell is. that it is written in common, it is written in Elvish, it is written in Dwarvish for those of you who speak it, in Celestial, in Infernal. It's a door of many kinds? Yes. Uh, sitting inside this room, you see as Beckett is there. Morning. Hello. We got some assholes like around this place. It's awful. Sorry. Honestly, we should. They were being really rude and not giving up their names. No. Uh, giving yeah. one's name up is not a rude thing. Yeah, there's some people who don't like to give their names. Yeah. Well, that's kind of conspicuous not to give up your name, so. Well, I mean, I gave our group uh, name, but that wasn't good enough for them. But, um, this is your test, just to get through the door. Good luck. Wait, the door we just got through? No, this one. Oh. Is this like a written test? Nope. Just get through the door. Uh, tampering with the door in any way, whether it's picking it or using magical means, uh, is uh, against the rules. Mm-hmm. Will not let you through. So, good luck. So, I mm. can't use. You can't I use a wizard's we tower to open a door? Do I know any of the runes that are around it? The door? Yeah. Uh, there's no runes. It's all just. It just says the door of many kinds. All in all the rooms. Uh, can I try to open it? Hmm? Can I try to just open it? it doesn't open. It doesn't open. Ah. Okay. Maybe, well, maybe I'm gonna try to, to open, it. open. Maybe you have to be. It's worthy. in the name, the door of many kinds. But you can't even pick a lock. Well, 
Um, is there a button? Look for a button. Friend in Elvish. <laughs> That's not Elvish. <laughs> I hate you so much. Just a random thought. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Open Speak sesame. Friend and enter. That's what my door would say. Does anyone see a button? Do we look for a button? Not look for a button. Make an investigation check. Fifteen. Fifteen? No, there's no button. Um, Did she I'm, say I'm gonna knock. Did she say we can't force it open? We can't tamper She said we can't take the like take it or use any magic, she said, right? But the handle is locked. Correct? Yeah. So we can't pick it. Is there anything else around like a vase or a potted plant? Like uh, so yeah, is it a, is there a immediately to the left and the right of the entrance door, looking backwards uh, uh, there seems to be it looks like um, symbols on the ground uh, it's like por- um, you those of you who actually you all recognize it, it looks like portals very similar to that of the ones in Vendel. okay what if we hmm. uh, what if everyone puts their hand on the door at the same time hope we're saying that maybe together as many the power of friendship? Yes. yes. Come on, Ithriel. Ithriel? I, I grab his hand. <laughs> <laughs> you don't touch me. My hand is on it. Okay. You wait for a moment. Nothing. Ah. Um, were you really touching the door nice or the floor? Though, guys. The door. Uh, you said you were touching the door? Okay. Yeah, we all touch the door? Okay, yeah, making okay. sure. Back it. Oh, shit. Sorry. She, she is sitting there with like, she Occasionally, she just like giggles. Um, are we allowed to leave the room at all during the test? Well, any means. Okay, yeah. I leave the room and I walk around to the opposite side of the tower. Okay. And this I go in through that door. Okay, you guys see as Gray walks in. Back. The same door? Yes. No, there was no Oh, what's doors. up, dude? What did you see? That didn't work how I thought it was going to <laughs> I thought I could just unlock it from the other side. What do you mean? The door. Wait, what, did you try to go around? Yeah. That's what I did. And I still No, you just him. walk right. No, the, here. I take him out and I show him. Oh, wait. wait. Is it. Uh, I'm going to look for a key. Okay. I'm going to miss. Make a perception check. Perception, okay. Ooh. Is this. Is this 16? Four stone? Hmm? 16? Yes. 16? Yeah. Ah, you do not see a key. Um, wait, wait. Like a loose Can one? I try. Okay, maybe it's one of these weird things. Can I try to. Pull instead of push. <laughs> <laughs> you do so? It does not open. <laughs> Is there any like loose stones on the floor that look like. Uh, make a perceptive check. I stand in front of the door. 16? He does not. And I just go, open sesame! <laughs> Is there anything on the roof? Nothing on this. Huh? On the roof? In here? <sighs> no. It's just a plain roof. Yes. Yeah. And you said it just. Go, it says door of many kinds in a bunch of different languages. There's, yeah. there's some rooms on the floor, it looks like. Rooms How many different the languages? Uh, all of them. All of them, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we all have to say it in a different language. Um, no, what's it called? The runes on the floor are like, how? what do they look like? Is there like spots where people can stand on them? No, there's two on either, uh, uh, one on either side of the entrance. Mm-hmm. And they, they seem like portals very similar to that of Bindle. Um, uh, Iggy, do you want to stand on one? I'll stand on the other. Okay. Okay. Nothing happens. Fusion. Mm. Beckett is, again, she's just in the, in the corner just giggling away. Can I, can I say... Door of many kinds and door of many. Nothing else. Open. Can't use magic, but can I do like an arcana check on it to see how it would work, or is that a no go? You want to try that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you begin to cast, and she's like, "Sorry, sis." No checking. No okay. Magic. Do you use the spell slot though? Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, you, oh, wait. No, you, no, no. Wait, wait, you, 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 oh, check. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, my bad. Then, we'll then no, nothing. You get nothing from it. Sorry. Okay. I thought you were using a spell. So. <coughs> okay. I put Open, my ear. please. I put my. As Gabriel says that, the door does open. Huh. No, you 
I'm gonna walk through. <laughs> you see us back it is on the side. <laughs> it's just like I was just about to put my ear up to the door and listen to what's on the other side. As, oh, as the great. Door Good opens, job, dude. It's Thanks, the open. Man. You said please. As he's just back and sits up and just sits Maybe the door of kind, not many kind. There's only one kind. Just saying. If you would have said please in any language, it would have worked. That's clever. It's also so, contradicting to your entire city, but I was <laughs> contradicting Stop to everybody being a baby. in this party. That's going to be my new security system at home. Seems like a fire code violation to this guy. <laughs> please, the we're burning Where's the fire marshal? <laughs> <laughs> So the door opens the way ahead towards the inside of the Leather Tower. Awaits you. What that holds, we will find out after this short break. Ooh. Ooh. We will be taking about 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 minute break. Uh, we will see you guys after. Yo, you two are going to get us fucking. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. Hey, hey, guys. Come on, man, out of the door.
we're back. So, where we had left off, party was discussing what to do following the events that they had encountered in Aura Road. Going their separate ways, a few of them conversed with um, the guards and finding uh, a potential goblin problem the city has been having. Um, and others went to search for the child who they had encountered in their nightmares, and the rest went on an adventure to get tattooed. <laughs> Being successful on all fronts, the group eventually met back up at uh, Beckett's home, uh, rested for the night. Uh, when the morning came, the group was very abruptly uh, awakened to the sound of hope spilling her guts. I was uh, woken up by being thrown up on Yes. Um, sorting through it and throughout the confusion, uh, the group eventually got cleaned up and were on their way to the Wizard's Tower. Upon arrival, they eventually, through some confrontation, made their way through the gates, uh, encountered Beckett, and eventually passed the Wizard's test in order to gain entry into the tower. <coughs> Entering inside the tower, you see as the center of the tower seems to be very hollow. As you can see, it goes all the way up, the hundreds and hundreds of feet, until you do finally see a ceiling all the way at the top of the tower. Along the borders of the center of the tower, you see as there is, seems to be what, what, what you can probably lose count around about the 30th floor as it continues up the sides of this tower as the, each floor is filled with different various uh, enchanted or what else natures as some sections seem to be a, a, looks like a miniature forest while others seem to have like a sort of a very sandy environment to it. A couple of uh, looks like science-y um, alchemical stations scattered throughout the tower, but uh, the first thing that does catch your eye is a series of what appears to be carpets that are going uh, and carrying people from one section to the next. Oh, there's more, there's people in here? Yes. Too? Oh. Um, see, as Beckett does come in, you see as uh, she heads over to the right side uh, where there seems to be a rack uh, and uh, attached to the rack, you see is there's just rows and rows of these carpets that these people are flying on. Uh, she goes and pulls out one, and as she lays it on the floor and stands on, walks on top of it, it begins to float up. She says, on. Welcome to the tower, guys. Uh, should, I, should I take you to our man? Should uh, we be expecting you? I'm just uh, it's, the, it's early in the relatively early in the morning. It's about uh, 10 at this point. Yes. Perhaps we should take a tour first. Okay. I'd rather get this over with. We yeah, said we would meet with, with the gentleman. So, as you guys are uh, elevated, uh, mm -hmm. if everyone's in agreement, mm -hmm. she elevates you all the way up near Ooh. to the, uh, as you all, she hands each of you one of these carpets to stand on to take throughout this route. Are you um, good to fly by yourself on one of these things? As you do elevate through this tower, you are uh, seen through to an array of different, looks like experiments or, or whatnot going on inside Ooh. here. As you see, as um, there seems to be just different cage sections where different little animals are in. Uh, of mm. different beasts. Uh, there is, uh, again, this looks like a wooded section where there's a collection of plants and herbs all gathered around the, uh, one of the floors. Uh, and the higher you get, the more different uh, different types of ecosystems you begin to pass into. Pick up on any of that good meat in there? Make a very high percentage check. You are just... You <laughs> No, yeah, you've moved too fast as you were elevating, and she is very quickly going up the floors. You just barely grasped and 
uh, an idea of what you saw. As you How many people do we see, like that aren't you know part of our party or? Um, make a perception check. Ooh, what a waste. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. You notice one thing, um, now that you are rising and getting a closer look at some of the people on the other ca uh, carpets, you notice that these seem to be humanoid figures, but they don't have a face. Wow, uh, it's like, almost like mannequins of sorts. Have oh. I ever seen things like that? Yeah. That what? No. No. As she raises you up, uh, you continue up all the way to near the top until you are, uh, looks up probably about 30 feet above from the ceiling. And you look down and it is a far drop. I want to uh, ask Beckett, like, do these humanoid things, do they see or hear? Or? Um, per se, they're not actually, like, alive. Anymore. They're dummies. Sort of, yes. So if I were to go in front of one of them and, like, you know. They interact with you. If, what if I like pretend like to punch, like you know, like you know, get really close? Like, would they flinch? Would they? They might <laughs> flinch. They might. So they like they they do have. You back so they do have some sort of sense, like about yes. them. Okay. That's Are they cool. like, like? Obviously, they're they're creations, right? Yes. So, like, they have some sort of golem. Of sorts, yes. Um, throughout the years, uh, each of the um, <laughs> wizards who have looked over the tower have created each of their own little golems. Um, and once they pass, the golem is left here in the tower. And it's a sort of a companion of sorts, with him being here by himself the majority of the time. Um, <coughs> so. Um, uh, how long till we get up there? Oh, you are at the top of it. Oh. This conversation is happening as you are elevating. Yeah. But you are, you do reach the top within a couple of minutes. Of <coughs> about two minutes of this thing just continuously elevating. Uh, but you uh, reach this floor, which is uh, um, looks like to be about 40 feet away from the ceiling, uh, where you see as these looks like planks come out across uh, to, as the carpet elevates and goes and it hovers next to it, allowing you guys to get off of it. Getting off, uh, she eventually leads you down this stone hallway, uh, and you see as there is just uh, along these hall these sides of these hallways, you see as dressed in various colored robes, uh, looks like the series of just like wizards. As each of them ha have to have these staffs, and a couple of them have like wands attached and just different decorated robes. Are they uh, all the same race too? Or? Huh? Uh, yes, they are hum all human. Uh, but they all are all just wearing these different, looks like to be, uh, she explains that these are also <coughs> previous wizards uh, in the family who have run the tower. Uh, but she eventually leads you to the end of this hall, uh, to this big room. These are people staying there? Or these huh? are pictures? Pictures. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, she leads you to the, this, this room. Uh, in the center of the room, there is this large round bed. Uh, with just these drapes that come and leaning off of it, and just uh, kind of like uh, laying on it and folding off onto the floor. Uh, along these sides, there's just tattered, just books on books on books on the floors, on the on the tables. Uh, you see, as there seems to be two large cauldrons on the uh, far end of the room, uh, just completely bubbling. With one with this green light, and another one with this like blue light coming of emitting from it. You see, uh, on the right side of the room, they're dressed in these long brown robes, uh, lies a human, uh, seems to be in his maybe mid to late 30s, uh, seems to be just reading from going through a book. Beckett, I thought you took care of this place. This kind of seems like a fucking mess. I, I, I'm his assistant, not his maid. Now we've been. What the, book we, are you reading? You said you cleaned up. This is just this you different. It's a, d d d don't worry. It's just a matter of the day. Hello, sir. Uh, what book are you reading? Huh? Uh, what is he reading? Yeah. Uh, he is reading. Go through a list of books and find one. <laughs> Tough plug. <laughs> nah. <laughs> is he reading porn? Uh, no, it's oh, not oh, porn. Porn, 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 por
it's a romance novel. Uh, oh, this is uh, <laughs> Durman's Guide to Everything. I love it. Uh, so oh, generalist. <laughs> <laughs> Is he sitting in the bed? Huh? He seems to be sitting on this large, very fluffy blue, uh, like like a lazy boy, as he's just got his legs up as he's reading. Uh, Hello there. Welcome, uh, friends and family. Uh, Beckett, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. It's good to see that you made it through the door. Welcome. Uh, uh, Welcome to the tower. Hope you are enjoying yourselves. Uh, I was informed that you needed to see me. So he kind of like plops the book down on the side. And uh, who do we have the uh, pleasure of making an acquaintance with? Uh, uh, next door is my name. Pleasure to meet you. Next door? Naxador. 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 You said next door. Oh, apologies. Go to the next room. Sorry. You see, he kind of like tries to get off of the bit, uh, off of this like plushy as he kind of like gets up, he kind of like sinks back in, and like rolls for a bit until he finally like rolls off of it uh, and gets up and walks over and just like shakes your hand. And there you are. My name is Gabriel. Gabriel. This is Hope, Orders, Gray, Orders, Iggy, Gray. and Ithriel. And we are the Action Faction. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Action Faction. Welcome to uh, the Wizard's Tower of Aura Road. How may I help you? You've come here for a reason. Well, or is? Don't be an asshole. Um, don't be a. The end of the world is happening, as you know. Uh huh. Um, we would like to stop that. Mm hmm. Extremely. Um. Yes and no. How do you want help? Well. Stopping it. Hmm. <laughs> Very We're specific. Trapping. I see. Ah. Uh, any way you can. Well, um, I'll everything. tell you the same thing I told you, the clerics uh, who have come everything. before you. Um, my job <laughs> is to hear it or a road. Um, I mean, what what do you want from me? Well, what could you do? Magic. Could you, hypothetically speaking... Would you be able to do more if you had info? Kill a god. Uh, no, that's intense there. Uh, that's a little bit above my pay grade, and not much is above my pay grade, but... Um, Would you know how to? Um, no. Inside check. Make an inside check. Ooh, I'm an insightful motherfucker. Um, 24. 24? Ah, he is lying. But, could you, if, if, let's say, a god came up to you and like, yo, let's fight Mm -hmm. to the death. To the death. What would you hypothetically do? Uh, I would run. What if you couldn't run? If I couldn't run, I'd fly. Would you be able to? You couldn't flee. I would teleport away. What if you couldn't flee? You know, Oris, it's a little funny how you're a bit uppity with people not being upfront and honest with you, and you're not being upfront and honest with him. So I'm about to spill all the beans. <coughs> Go ahead. I'm not, so I'm not holding we anything did, back. We I'm did, just being concise. Uh, we do know that there is a an ancient weapon that we have a lead on in Centurietti. Would you be able to help us get to that city? I would be it's able not, to get to It's not to a weapon in, 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 in whatever. It's the mages there. The other thing is split up into six different pieces in six kingdoms. Mm-hmm. And then you got option C. You're not going to like too much. We technically didn't agree yet. Mm. We met with the Abolith downstairs. Did you know? Yeah. Interesting. And what per se did said Apolith say to you? He said he would help with Acolith if we were able to free him. Okay. And you trusted him? Fuck no. 
Sorry. Go ahead. Fuck no. Sorry, go ahead. I mean, you kind of just... Okay. Do I see... Can I take a look around? Do I see anything? He's looking for the key. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, make a perception check. <coughs> no. No. Okay, so there's an array of different magical items just littering this room. Uh, from floating things to glowing things to just, just stuff like seems to just be animated and unnaturally. Nothing is really popping out at you at this point. Look, we want to go to Sincerity to see if they can help us because apparently from the research that we've done, they've been able to imprison a god before or at least seal him up or mm-hmm. something close to a god. Okay. Um, I don't know if you've heard of that legend. I've heard of such power. Um, there's also some research that suggests that it may be possible to kill a god. I could tell that you have some ideas. Now, my god believes that is also possible. Um, he has suggested that with the help of this hammer and with hopefully the help of dwarven masters i can maybe create some sort of weapon that could help there's also the weapon that uh, she was talking about that's split into different pieces hmm. so there's a couple of avenues but we would like some guidance in figuring out which is worth pursuing Hmm, well, it sounds like you are referring to the six pieces of the chain. I, okay, thank you. Would you not be able to, would you not be able to, um, if this evil older god, old whatever they, whatever Eclis is, mm-hmm. would you not be able to banish him to a plane of existence that's locked from everywhere else? As an absolute 120% last resort, yes. That, that being said, that I, odds are I wouldn't. Maybe. Hmm? Would, that, would that keep him permanently there? Uh, probably. I'm assuming a god of that. God of that would caliber is probably capable. How high are the odds? Or low? Hmm? How high are the odds? Incredibly of low. Uh, incredibly low. Uh, odds are I'm not going to be assisting you with that, seeing as that would probably kill me in the process. Then anyone else is trying? Pretty much. Well, that's why we're here. Not not to kill you, to, to kill him. Mm-hmm. To kill him. So Sorry. could you help us get to Centurionity? Uh, depends. It might take a while. How long is a while? Uh, however long it takes to convince them to let you in. Yeah. I mean, are they not aware of this? Uh, they're probably uh, aware. They're probably say, aware, but we say please? Uh, they are very selective as to who they yep. allow me to bring in there or not. Well, her parents... Her, pa- her parents work there. Okay. Yeah, and I haven't seen them in 10 years. Well, might just be a good in, possibly. Because <laughs> at least he knows how to contact them. We haven't been able to contact anybody. Those of you. Can you tell us a little bit more about these six pieces of the chain? There are six pieces. I sit uh, down on my, like, <laughs> like, legs fold and everything. Just like, I just start listening. So there are six pieces. Uh, it's, it's sort of, it refers to as a chain. It sort of it acts like a chain, but it's not actually a chain. Uh, but it's a artifact, basically. Uh, it was broken up and put into one of each of the great kingdoms. Uh, one of them lies here, um, and that is what I use to protect the city. Uh, one of them is in each of the other major kingdoms <clears throat> and uh, you know just to remind the other guys what are those kingdoms 
Uh, there's the <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing one is in the Bindle. There's one the Bindelian. The yes. One of them is being held at the Bindelian Empire. One uh -huh. of them is in the Dorinthian Empire. Mm -hmm. One of them is in the Maricorian Empire. One of them is in the realm of the Free Folk to the south. Free Folk? And one of them is in the Eastern Continent, lost to the world. What, what is it called? The Eastern Continent. Oh, I thought you called it. Lost to the world, pretty much. Lost to the world. Well, we've been and there. It had to be pretty. Oh, no, yeah, we've been, we've been there and back. You so, if you were there, you probably, I don't know, maybe you saw a tower similar to this one? Uh, yeah, that's, that's where Akos was. Okay, so that's, pro that's probably there then, maybe. Could what be there. Did he, is it just a chain that just connects? It's, it needs to be binded together. Um, and judging by what I'm looking at, and you see as he's looking at your hammer at this point. Oh, uh, and I'll pull it out and I'll show it to him. Like, here you go. <laughs> oh, that's a bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be the binding agent. This is the binding agent? Judging for how old that is, and if you said your god is talking about that, I imagine that that would be the binding agent. Um, but well, how would we go about col we have to be pretty collecting for these? You to give us pieces. these, don't we? Uh huh. Can we borrow yours? Um, no. Please? It's protecting your city. It's just not going to give up. Protecting the city. What is it? Do what, what is it doing to protect the city? Is it just is off magic? Magical focus, I'm guessing. Sort of. It does an array of things. Uh, one, it is... <coughs> Make a persuasion check, actually, because that's a lot of information. That's Can I start looking around his room? You said persuasion? Room? Yes. Can I start looking around his room? Hmm? For anything? Uh, 23. Yes. Make a perception mm. check. 23. 23. There is a sort of an anti-magic dome around the city. That I am using the energy from it to create. There's also a series of. Uh, I'm su I'm assuming that you saw the flying creatures once the horn was raised. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Did we see the flying? Yes. 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 I yes. Saw them. And they're the energy for those are coming from that as well. The flying creatures are not. Are they creatures or are they? These are constructs. It's our animated objects. Cool. Are you like your faceless yes. friends here? Yes, we have so much of that. But then we're not going to be able to put the six pieces of the chain together if he can't even let us borrow that one. Yes, who says that you six are the only ones that are capable of stopping Aklas or out So let's go ahead and so. label this one as very hard. This one holds what the piece of the chain referred to as the hand of the gods. Gotcha. Gods. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said this guy doesn't like gods. Like you're using a religious object to... Who? I was under the impression that you did not like the gods. Why? That's what you guys said. No. You said he doesn't like gods. You're thinking of some, something, you're thinking about something, something else. else. Yeah, you're thinking of, no of Abolith. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, Abolith doesn't like the gods. I thought you said the wizard doesn't like Also, the I don't like the gods. <laughs> Yeah. Also, he doesn't like the guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually so, his. Well, what so. would it take to convince you, though? I mean, if we fall through with everything else, this would be our only option. Yeah, he's up, but. If you can manage to get the other five pieces, I will give you this one. That sounds fair. All right, it sounds like a smash and grab. <laughs> oh, yeah. by the way, um... Would you be willing to meet with the uh, clerics today in about two to three hours? Sure. Okay. Um, what are the other options? What are your thoughts on the other options? Let's see. Think, so the, the six pieces of the chain, that will create a weapon or a... It's an artifact. Once Aklas is weakened, uh, using it will bind him bind again him to, to what? His cell. To his cell? Yes, his previous cell. And what about killing him? Killing him? There's no way really to kill him. I mean, if 
the Abolith is right, he thinks it's possible. Well, the Abolith is a liar. That's true. I, I, had a lot of, I can tell right away. Have you had a lot of experience with the Abolith? My family does. Entire generations. It's just been part of our sacred duty is to make sure him and everything else down there is locked up. Why do you guys... Well, isn't he one of you guys' secret weapons? Did he tell you that? No. No? It's, uh... On a it's mural. Off. It's written. <laughs> written <laughs> everywhere. It's written where? In, In the dome. chamber that he's at. Oh. So you don't think he could have written that? I mean, I definitely could have, like but... <coughs> seem, seems like something that, uh... Can I ask why your family has such a history of distrust? Like, what, what did this thing do to your family that made you uh, not trust it so? I don't know. All I know is that for thousands of years, my family has made sure that that thing has kept locked up. I mean, there was a sunken well, city. Maybe they were waiting for this moment when they needed it. Uh, maybe they knew that it needed to be locked away. Well, if it's Maybe. one of you guys' secret weapons, why do you Who keep said, it? I, again, it's not. I think... <coughs> Can I roll for insight on that? Yes. Didn't, didn't uh, you guys say that the gods are the ones who imprisoned him? Aklas imprisoned him? Uh, the gods 21. did. Aklas designed the prison. Um, seems to be hiding <coughs> something. Uh, you don't know what, but he seems to be hiding something. Listen, if there's any way we can gain your trust and you can help us more, you would be protecting your city. Because if we don't succeed with what we're doing, not only will your city burn, the entire continent will. World. The world will burn. The world, yeah. And hopefully we're trying to not well, make that not happen. I'm just hoping. And um, so, but do you think you believe that you might be able to get this into Centuria? Um, I promise nothing, but can you um, at least reach out to having them? Beckett vouching for you? I will say that I will try. Uh, what uh, is how the, long that will take? Um, what is what is a uh, Jenison to you? Excuse me, stop for a bit. He is a student who has lived a very unfortunate life. What do you mean? Being crippled from the day you were born is not something lightly to be had to sell. He cannot walk, so here he can fly. I yeah, <coughs> I only ask because he seems to be connected to this prophecy as well as we do. Yes, uh, he did bring up some type of dream. Uh, I figure that this would be responsible because he refused, for whatever reason, to take the tonic that I had given him. Uh, but can you describe his dream? I. Uh, I'm guessing it was darkness? Yes, I had noticed a while back, um, or well, not I, but his uh, guards had noticed some dark energy that was looming around him uh, in his sleep. So I had given him some tonics to help prevent it, uh, and for whatever reason the other night he chose not to drink it, and thus the night to night. He has taken it every night since then, but. Does this dis does this description of a, um, mean anything to you? Do you know a, Do you know of a man that is wears robes, is bald, has ice blue feet? Uh, she does not bring any recollection to me now. Yeah, because he also seems to be connected to yeah, this no. prophecy. <coughs> I have no idea. There are many prophecies Do in this world. Well, I mean then. That's a good idea. Are we yeah. done here? Well, Other than you getting the word out to them, like we shared what we had to share. Do you have the, do you have the necklace? Do you have any insight? I have the necklace. Should we have them look at it? 
As long as I get it back. Are you aware of the old legend that cats have nine lives? Why are you asking me that? I'm asking everyone that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The legend came, the old myth came from a series of arcane scholars who observed time in itself. Um, and they noticed, for whatever reason, cats at nine points uh, in their life. Uh, time flows like a river. And um, at nine points throughout that river, every individual cat's stream kind of bridge off and reconnect. Uh, from that, they imagine that that's one point in time where they um, either affected their, their life or whatnot. Um, I say this because our river branches very soon in the future. Um, our river is in our time world stream. River. Our time stream mm -hmm. kind of branches into two separate streams. We don't know why, but it is there. Sounds like you got nine lives, buddy. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what you're trying to imply. I don't think it has to necessarily do anything with you, just with. I think you're just saying that general. soon, like they're about to reach a turning point or. So if you, can one see, or two ways if you can see the soon. rift, then what's the watershed? Where the what? What's the catalyst? What is the breaking point where it diverges? I think we'll be finding out very soon. It could be a decision that is made, a fight that is fought. Could you look at this uh, necklace that we have? Sure. He just looks at it. Can to walk over and look at him. As long as I get it back. Quick. Hmm. It seems to be a conduit. This many items, uh, they are enchanted, um, and uh, the magic is in that item. When the item is destroyed, the enchant is destroyed. Uh, this item, on the other hand, seems to be a con. It is as if a magic item enchanted this item. So uh, it seems to be a necklace used um, to channel something from another. Should this, I'm assuming, break, another item could be enchanted very similar to it. Did anything break when you guys? No, we couldn't, we couldn't break it because it, it, like it, it was magical. <laughs> she so received it. No, it like is. around it for, when you received it like that? I don't think so. Yeah. Right. So, so I'm saying if you were to destroy this, whoever or whatever, since you, wherever you got this, from, it could simply put the enchantment on another item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can't tell who made it or who mm -hmm. it started the original enchantment? Sorry, no, but it seems to be an artifact of sorts. Okay. Well, if we have to wait, <laughs> I mean, um, in general, to either get word from uh, Centurietti or decide what else we're going to do. Would you mind um, if I took a look around the tower and use your library? Yeah, or so I can check. Can I say pretty please? No. <laughs> okay. You, you say pretty please, we'll stop the turn and check. Oh. Pretty please equals plus one. <laughs> Four <coughs> with a bow on top is plus two. Cherry, it's the cherry. It's a bow. You see, as he looks at you for a second, hmm. it's 
Does anyone else want to be searching through my tower? Do what now? I just want to use your library. Does anyone else want to use my library? No, but I did want to ask, um, was there a really large dragon flying uh, here? A bronze dragon? Maybe not see? here. I saw. I noticed one out in the distance, but not here. Do you know what that was about? No clue, but for whoever's sake, I hope it was friendly. Yeah. Um, Hmm. Quick question. Are you in charge or the people at City Hall more in charge? Who has more sway in the people here? Uh, Generally, the people, uh, the mayor and his family, have the most influence with the outside world. I'm just in charge of the magical defenses of the city. And I'm guessing if you went to the mayor with a concern, the mayor would take care of the rest, so to speak, if something were to come up. A while ago, this amulet gave us, a few of us, a dream where we saw Achilles, well, in the body that he was using, on an island with a bunch of clerics, people from many temples. I would like you to tell the mayor to not to let these people go out anymore because I think we're send- you, they're sending them to their deaths. Because mm. we saw their spirits, or at least you some of them were already being taken over. Some had their souls ripped out of them just to be made undead army men for Achilles. You are asking the Claire to not allow his people to... The, you are asking the mayor to not allow his people to leave? At least those of the temple. That might be a conversation we can have in a couple hours. With with, uh, that's what I'm going to bring, but... I mean, that's a rough... That's a pretty hefty request for someone... I mean, I get it. Up. They need to fight for their thing. There's their calling to end this, but... They're Maybe not you can be speak with them. That's your dream. Your prophecy. Mm-hmm. I have not seen anything of sorts, so... I can't really testify to the sorts. Can you tell me why I'm sick? <laughs> Isn't that really a doctor's profession? Well, I just figured since I'm here. Um, it's actually kind of, it doesn't seem to be a sickness. It, it's like, it's almost like she's pregnant, but she hasn't consummated. Say that word again. Consummated? She hasn't fornicated. She hasn't, you know what I mean. Yeah. Were you, when you were down below, did you fall into the water? I did. Mm. I dove into it. Only, Every only day. he did. He fell, you go. Yeah. Nobody else went in the water. I did. Just us two. we were all in the water. No, just us two. And her. Oh, wait, are you talking about, wait. Which water? Into the obelisk changer. Oh, yeah. oh, we yeah. all jumped oh, in. Oh, yeah, we all got one. Anabolith excretes hormones. Oh, my water. God, you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we better go. You could have ingested said hormones. <laughs> Can you remove it? At risk of her life. <laughs> at great, at great risk of her life. Uh, well, I'm right here. I can revive you. <sighs> I can't revive you. Or would it prevent me from reviving her as well? Uh, do, do you want this more Atlas? This is um. I can't. What the spawn wouldn't uh, be an Atlas itself. It would be like a pseudo. Uh, That's still that would, pretty strong, it, right? It would die in weeks, if not less. But oh. Her, she also would die in conceiving process. Uh, so you'd die either. Uh, uh-huh. the, there's you methods to get rid of it, but uh, you'd have to go back down there in order to do so. 
Do you have water from the Abilet school? No, but I'm I'm pretty <laughs> sure you do somewhere in this tower. I do not. Inside check. Make an inside check. <coughs> I don't know. You do not you don't know. That he does sick. not. <laughs> so you need us to collect water from the Abilet. I need you to do nothing, but if she it's just to continue. I don't want to die. I mean, the Abilith itself could... Were those dark? Were those drowsy? It didn't seem too pleased with the Abilith either. I don't know. It seemed less pleased with us. Why? Do you not remember how she was Are acting? Are you keeping yeah. the drow in the uh, thing? I am the not concerning myself with the drow. That is a judgment laid on to them by the gods themselves. They just sit, share the prison, but I am not their one. Okay. What would be, be the okay. process of removing We're going to get rid of it. this offspring? Don't call it that. Because it is a supernatural um, yeah. abomination yeah. of sorts, it is attaching itself to her both spiritually and physically. Um, oh. With some sort of greater restoration. Weren't you part of the alien? Yeah, it wasn't. Potentially, maybe. It it could work. Sense. <laughs> These things don't happen very often, so I am not proficient in it per se, but you can ask some of the greater clerics there if they could help you about. Getting his hell spawn out of my girl. How long do you think we have? Uh, I would say if you are conceiving, maybe a week or two. <laughs> no. Shit. Can you get well, at least a letter out to the sense of whatever? <laughs> Yeah. Is, is there a glitter? Uh, with is there this a involved in that. Is there a greater cleric in town? A uh, majority of the clerics have left on the same holy mission that you are on. If, so. there, if we. Oh, I'm sorry to bring or like propose this, but. If we kill her, will the spawn die too? Uh, most likely. No, he's what not. if we bring her hmm. back? Most likely, no. Most likely, it will. Uh, if you bring her back, it may bring it back as well. Again, it is attached to her both physically and spiritually. and spiritually. Would it be easier if she was dead to remove it? Maybe. I can. This is uncharted territory. Most people like really just it. die from it because they don't catch it they die. Know all about death. It's an abortion. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you a child of God? <laughs> <laughs> oh, child of God, how dare you? Bad boys. My head. I don't know what I'm do. My Is there like an her. area that's you know away nearby? from it, everyone that I can go to? Like uh, he would allow it, yeah. Yeah, yeah given I'm, the gonna, circumstances. I'm gonna pray. Okay, can I try to pray to God? Okay. Is anyone else doing anything? Can I get that? My head's in a blender Please. right now, hey, so Becky, I'm trying to figure shit you? out. Do I know She any? is in shock given the circumstances about what everything Do you need to sit right? down? I'm fine. Did you get your necklace back? Do I know? Hey, can I have a necklace back? Any, oh, um, I do have it back. Alright. Yeah, back. Yeah. Do I know any, uh, um, like, high clerics? My teacher wouldn't be a high player. No. <sighs> I hate this. I hate this. Mood. I, hate this. <laughs> I mean, I can't even kill the thing, the bastard. <coughs> so. What else can we do can here now? Spawn other people. Can you spell the Can you? Mm -hmm. All right. I can Would try, you? but. 
again, there's a very good probability that she wouldn't make it. Well, what if we, I'm the... What if I'm there to heal as soon as anything bad happens? Do you think that would help? Maybe. I could also I, I can heal as help. well. So we need do we need the water <coughs> either way? Uh, it would help significantly. What does the what what will you what will we be able to do with the water? With the waters we can extract uh, what the pheromones and from it and use that as a sort of location and destination thing. But it has to be the water from Yes. Indeed. Are all of the waters in the, down there connected? Maybe. Have you been down there? No. Pretty dark. I imagine. Hence the name. <sighs> uh, now I get it. Huh? <laughs> huh? Yours are dark. Uh, he said it's pretty dark, and I'm like, yeah, kind of. Hence the name. <laughs> <coughs> Hmm. I have an idea. What's your idea? But it could suck. Um, <laughs> everything <laughs> sucks right now, so yeah, I'm so not there. I want oh. to go first. Yes, um, we're talking about what everything that you guys are doing while she's on side praying. Would we be able to borrow some of your carpets? <laughs> Make a really big persuasion check. If not, do you have a endless rope? Have one, but make a really big persuasion check. What's your first load of carpets? DC is 25. Oh, 19. 19? So you said persuasion? Uh, huh? You said persuasion? Yes. On the rope. Twenty-five. Exactly, 25. Yep. <laughs> 17 plus 8. All right. Make sure you get it back. Is it just like in a bag and it just keeps coming out and coming out and coming out like a... Uh, yeah, pretty much. It's just, it's like, um, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like a wheel. Mm -hmm. It's a small, like, about, probably about a foot in diameter wheel. And as you pull on the rope along the wheel, the wheel just keeps turning as the rope comes along. I know that, I know that that's... I know that that cave was very, very deep, but and we didn't have, we wouldn't have regularly enough rope. But this could potentially allow one of us to climb down. No, oh, no, we just need a bucket. Oh, yeah, we could do, yeah, exactly. Oh, you're right. What if the owl just, 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 just pulls it well, down? That's what I'm thinking too. We gotta go to the fucking fountain, my guys. We gotta, we, we're gonna have to go How back to the entrance. Is enough. How much of this water do we need? Roughly about five cups, maybe. Five cups. So about like half a bucket. Gosh. Is there a way to make the water come to us? No, we have to go open the gate again. And that would cause our friends to come out and play again. Yeah. Unless we close immediately. Open the gate again. Oh, man. The gate that we took out of the other I was, oh, well, I let's was. Not, let's not go into that, maybe. I was maybe thinking the main hole that we jumped into in the no, beginning. Because then the no, because the just going to. We don't want to be anywhere near the Ablo. He'll know exactly what we're everything doing. Everything we're doing. Is there any way to. Also, there we any forgot way to about the fucking horde of goblins. Is there any way that he there. would not. We would be able to be there without him knowing that we were there? I doubt it. We'd leave hope uh, here. Can we got that kind of magic on you. Uh, as you guys are having this discussion in Valley. Uh, hope you go off uh, to the side near the entrance and begin to pray. Um, make a percentage check real quick. You gotta be joking me. Nine, oh! 90 freaking nine. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. So you go off and begin to pray. Oh. God is like, nah. As you. <laughs> shh, shh, as you pray on the side, the room eventually begins to go dark uh, and cold. Uh, you can, what are you saying? <coughs> um, I, I mean, I'm saying please, like, what can you do to help me? Like, can you please help me? I can't, 
pointless if I'm dead, you know? <laughs> can't do what you need me to do. Oh, man. Good. So, a few moments pass. You hear very similar. You hear just this loud of this wing coming out that you recognize as this, this skeletal wing. Uh, the last time I talked to you, you did not listen to me, Hope. Yeah, the bad one. <coughs> so why should I do anything to help you? Uh, can I talk to you then? What other one? Uh, 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 not to say that you're not gorgeous, but... Um, Make a wisdom check. <laughs> a wisdom check? Yeah. Ooh, that's a, what? Plus zero. Oh, yeah. 19. 19. You know that uh, part of this being's downfall is it is almost undoubtedly unaware, except for very rare occasions where it, it is almost unaware of it, this other half, except for when they are in direct conflict with each other. But on most occasions, it just completely forgets that it's other. So. So he forgets? Yes. Or they both do? They both forget about <coughs> the other until they are in direct conflict with each other. You just need me to do something real vengeful. I don't know. What, what do you need me to do? What, what do I have to do to you? I'm sure you're a resourceful woman. You'll find out. You see as he uh, says this, you see it's just like this mace appears in your hand. You'll figure it out. You see as he just wa floats around for your a few seconds. Um, just disappears as the room continues to be this <coughs> darkness for a bit. The cold eventually subsides. The mace is gone. You're back. The mace in. is gone. Right. Your magic sugar daddy is pissed. I'm not there. Just kidding. Uh, you're just in the corner again. Uh, so you eventually, uh, the room you began to hear as your friends are on the side discussing as to what they could and could not do. Super You've fun. been quiet the entire time. Yeah. Any ideas? None good. <laughs> Anyone? None, none that involve hope surviving. What are the bad ones? <laughs> none of that involve hope surviving. Oh. No, no one can fly down into that tunnel and get... Get a jug of water. No. I think the problem is, as soon as we enter that um, place, he'll sense us and he'll know. Well, we have to think of something. We can't just let this parasite kill him. Oh, of course. Is there insane. anything you can do to help us to possibly get this water? Not really from here, no. I. This is, again, this is part of the reason, I imagine. It's part of the reason it's locked up. What about just keep it away from me. What about these uh these faceless friends of yours? Are they don't even really people, <coughs> are they? Maybe they can go in there undetected. No, they they are animated as long as they are here in the tower. Should any of them leave they will within range device. from what we saw of the things. These things are big. Huh? These things are big. These uh, golems? No. The human about human size. Oh. Human. As you are beginning to head with this way, you hear just like <laughs> sounds like a, it's like metal creature squeaking. Uh, you uh, you re recognize it from the day prior. It's the sounds of this wheelchair approaching as well. <coughs> so you see, this, um, sorry, uh, you see the child coming up in his wheelchair uh, towards you. How's everyone doing? Yeah, awesome. Really, really just fantastic. Not too great. Did we figure out the dream yet? The 
working on it. Yeah, it sounds like uh, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Can I help? Um, I don't know if you can. Do you have any contacts in Maricor or in... My dad might. Okay, what about... Uh, about them. Did you get us time to speak with your dad directly? I think so. Oh, we already got, yeah, we already got a, um, an appointment four days from now, so. Did you <laughs> try to get him to yeah, speak to busy us man. sooner? So. Hmm? Busy Did you try man. to get him to speak to us sooner? I can try. I'm pretty sure I could. Can you get your, uh, your father's assistant at the front desk fired? Hi, Karen, calm down. Why? <laughs> She's a bitch. <laughs> Are you a bitch? This is, this Real is no bitch. time to be Were petty you a bitch? No. A yes. Fucking I know face who needs to attack Benjamin. There's a xenomorph inside my girlfriend. <laughs> Let's fucking figure this out. <laughs> Wait, she's your girlfriend now? Ooh. You guys, damn big G, were. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you, I, we all heard him. We all heard him say We heard it, yeah. I mean, clinging over there, Jesus. I can cast ceremony if you want. I mean, well, you give me a stepdad, son. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. It's a rat bastard. <laughs> um, well, there's not really much we can do here with you. We've got endless rope. Thank you for that, by the way. Mm. Um, so I've been uh, we'll be expecting it back. Do we want to? Is there any way you could let me do any sort of? <laughs> Supervised research on your shit. A little, I, what about me? Don't trust the cat. Can I take a look? Hey, I'm looking for any information to help us out. This freaking. Remember, we have our dates with the priests at the temples. So. Yeah, I was gonna send him a message, let him know that we should meet here. Twenty-five. Uh, yeah. You get a new dice next time. Mine are not. Uh, <laughs> leaving the temple. Um. What? My priest is not really big on leaving this temple. You are free to check the library. Well, they all left, didn't they? No, the Thank high you. priest is still there. I'm going to go with you. As well. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you well, for your time, by the way. Mm-hmm. Let's convince him, or at least try to. We have a couple hours. Point, Maybe at the same time we can ask him for help with hope. Oh yeah, I was totally going to. Okay, so I guess we'll do that. Yeah. Well, you guys go and do that. We'll take a take a look around, see what we can do. Take a look at Do some uh, reading see, montage. You see, as he's as he whistles, you see as this like human one of these mannequins just comes like dopely walking and. Just escort them to the library. He just begins to turn around and just takes a few steps, kind of like looks back at you all. Yeah, all you guys have about this. like three to four hours before everyone uh, meets up. All right. Well, so we're all meeting here, correct? If possible, yeah. All right. If not, we might have to meet at the Raven Queen's temple. Okay. Yep. Who's it? So, good luck, guys. Where are you going? With you, him to go you too. I'll go to the. Uh, Wait, are you going to the Raven Queen Temples or the library? Library. Okay. Library, library. You are. Temple. Library, temple, library. Um, what's the dude's name? Uh, the like, other temple. I was going to see his buff boy. Other temple. Thick boy. He's going to see his thick yeah. boy. His man crush. <laughs> <laughs> I so all about him. You are going where? You're, you're going him with him to the temple? No, me. Library. Oh, okay. so the library, library, temple, library, library uh, yeah. other temple. Library. Library. Temple, I guess. What is it, Iggy? Iggy's temple? Yeah. Iggy's temple. That's funny. So, you're not allowed in my temple. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, since you are all, those who are checking the library are is here in the tower, we'll handle you first. Uh, so you follow the mannequin as he goes to uh, the plank. Uh, you see as um, Beckett uh, it seems to go over 
and attempt to jettison this guy. He seems to just be talking to her on the side. Um, the mannequin escorts you to the floor just below this one. Uh, where it's just, just a surround sound of just library all around this uh, uh, circle. Uh, and it kind of just expands further out deeper along the borders of the uh, tower on this floor. And it is just books on books on more rows of books of different shapes, sizes, colors. And you don't need more than a few hours. Um, oh, this beat reader left. An extensive <laughs> library. Uh, so, how about. Uh, how the about only we? issue that you see in this library, it seems to be absolute chaos. There seems to be no order uh, anywhere between these sure. books. I'm gonna turn to the mannequin and ask, can you bring me books about the uh, anything to do with Abolith? You see, as he begins to go walking around, uh, you see, as he like picks up a book. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh, god. He has another story. Shit! 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 Uh, it's just continuous. This pattern just picks up. And well, let's let me find one. It's a great system. It's, it's like he's the only I'm one who's how the system works. And I love this. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, I like the thing that each golem has its own system. <laughs> That's why the whole thing's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm just gonna uh, do as the golem does. Keep picking up books and uh, yeah. yeah. Or well, maybe walk like <coughs> on the yeah. If we have golem, me and y or you two, we can all there. pick. Well, these two, we can both pick. I'm not there. A either. spot around the circle at 45 degrees and just spread out from there. Get there. Okay. The most uh, efficient way. Everyone make an investigation checks. Everyone? How many? Uh, who's oh. searching for books? 16. How many investigation checks? One. One. Six, tiny. 16. Cool. Hobo 20. Hobo nice. 20? Cool. Eight. Eight. Cool. Oh, nice. Cool. What'd he get? You got a 12. Hey. With no modifiers. At least he tried. Okay. So, you all just spend the four hours uh, searching through an array of just different books. And you see some things that just do pique your interest, in, but not uh, directly correlating to the Abolith. Uh, until the three hour mark does pass as you are just. just Tired of just reading, looking, nope, nope, nope. But Gray, uh, you do manage to find a book labeled uh, The Underdark. So you imagine maybe in there somewhere you would have some, what you're looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna take it with me. Okay. Cutting to the rest of you. Uh, going by whichever's closest, uh, which would be those heading to the Raven Queen. Temple. So, you head over, make your way towards the Raven Queen's Temple. Uh, at this point, it's around. I guess it's around eleven. At this point, mm -hmm. uh, you would reach the temple. Um, uh, approaching this point, you see as uh, quite a bit of people are around uh, this area. Uh, um, a couple of people are either attending to try and feed the birds, while others seem to be just uh, just as before, just asking uh, for either prayers or collections or donations around. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Once you arrive, I attempt to pet a bird, or at least like reach out. Yeah, make an animal handling check. Okay. You see, it's eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, we're gonna bite. That's mm. fine. <laughs> I deserve it. Animal handling, you said? Yeah. 18. <laughs> 18? Good. So you see, as you approach the pet, the, um, excuse me, uh, as you approach the bird, uh, it just lets, lets out this loud, just <laughs> as, you, <laughs> as you get, uh, and it kind of like flesh back, but he doesn't fly away, and just kind of like reach out again. It eventually allows you to kind of like pet it. Just by far, Before, Iggy's greatest compliment. After, for, after like three seconds of petting it, though, it does. Hmm. Away. Oh, 
Loads of fun waits to three seconds. Anyway, heading on in. <laughs> so, uh, going inside, uh, it is just as before, almost just as, so, lack of a better term, dead, as it was uh, <laughs> the last time you came inside the actual temple, except for the occasional uh, person either praying at the statue or uh, to bet one of the uh, birds perches on the sides. Is, is Zenith around, or at least one of those? Um, sure. You and Gabriel were together? No, me, yeah, we went together. Yeah, Last time, okay. it was me and Ithril. Yeah, okay. uh, so. You and Gabriel head over uh, to uh, the room. Um, it appears to be locked. Uh, you knock. Uh, a few moments pass, and you eventually just hear <laughs> Up, and he seems to be standing in front of you. Hi, uh, Zenith. Yes. Um, would you be interested in having a meeting at the Wizard's Tower with the rest of my group? Oh, this is Gabriel. Who do you do? Pleasure. And discuss, and it's about the stuff with Achilles and a bunch of other things. <laughs> when? Um, when did he say, Gabriel? Today? Time. A couple hours? Mm. Took you about an hour to get to this point, but yeah. It took about an hour to get there? Yeah. No, actually from where you were, sorry, let me open up my gram, 10, 20, 30, it took 30 minutes to get to it from the tower. Okay, Just so. Just the size of the bed. Roughly two, three hours from now? Okay. That was easier there. than I thought. Last time we were here. Anyway. Because I was there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. I just like look at Gabe real quick. Uh, can. I get it. No, um. Yes, but, she, the, but you would be able to join us for this meeting, correct? Yes. N no, Gabe. Um, can you just not. Bring some what I'm about to say to the rest of the group, please. Sure. Okay. Um, I roll up my sleeve and it's just tattooed numbers, kind of like when you do the like the numeral thing and slash it. It's just four. I got this fourth one recently. I tattooed it myself. I've died four times. What would you think my chances of coming back would be? You shouldn't have come back the first time, but... I had no choice in any of the matters. You have roughly... Should a cleric go against our queen, um, he would have about a 30% chance of success at bringing you back. Is I'm just better off dead. You would say that. Okay. Well, that's all I needed to be cleared up. Cool. So no one in your no one in your faith believes in resurrection? No. And we healing? Would not, we would not deny the queen her prize. But what if the queen does not require such a request? She requires it of every living creature. Hmm. Meaning, I'm guessing what Gabe was trying to say is like, what if those other times weren't my time? That is not for you to decide. Again, I had no choice in the matter. Well, whoever went against her, I would advise that they don't. She does not, she frowns upon those who wish to ex extend their time past their Okay. She does not side with the Zachalus, does she? No. He would certainly bring about death all over. Yes. He would. would but that not, would that not appease her pot of Well, zones? death is not good, nor is she evil. 
just get that straight. Death is more like a promise of what happens in the end. An unjust death brings her no satisfaction, but the denial of death brings her even less. Well, that answered my question, so thanks for that, and we'll see you in a couple hours. Thank you, Zenith. Thank you. Thank you. Next off, he just nods one more time before closing the door. <coughs> what a creepy. Yep. Well, this was interesting. Yep. Did I spend this entire time before the meeting looking for You the book? took three hours looking for that book. Okay. I was just going to say, I'll, I'll start reading it if I can, but. Okay. Uh, the rest of you. Uh, it takes you, uh, those of you who are heading to the uh, temple uh, to Bahamut, it takes you 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 10, 20. Uh, it takes you two hours and 20 minutes to get to that side of the city. Wow. It's a big city. Uh, <laughs> Another taxi service. Right. Um, unless you would <laughs> yeah. prefer to pay for faster transportation, which would be horses, carriages, and so on and so forth. Sure. Which is sporadically. Okay. I'll charge you uh, two silver to get there uh, in one hour and a half, in an hour and a half instead. Two silver? Yes. Quickly making your way through the streets, you see as uh, your uh, guy who is the human behind the horses, uh, you are in a carriage at this point. It's just like very quickly, mouth, 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 as his people are just like trying to like, brush out of the way of these horses. He is very not gentle in the slightest as he is forcing his way through these streets uh, to get you to your destinations. Uh, you were with him as well. You don't pay, it's just a flat two no, silver. It's just me. I thought you two went to. Oh wait, no, right, sorry, it is just two. Sorry. Um, so uh, yeah, it's just a flat two for the ride rather than per person. Uh, but you eventually, uh, quickly, as quickly as you can, make your way over uh, to this section of the city. Upon reaching it, uh, you see as um, it is noon at this point. Um, sorry. As you reach the outside of uh, this temple, it is it's incredibly crowded at this point. Uh, just either followers or people who, um, excuse me, are either doing their daily prayers or, or whatnot. But make your way, uh, I'm assuming you're just headed, just beelining it to his room. Uh, you make your way very quickly throughout the temple. A uh, couple of the t uh, people. Just gotta try and stop you along the way, but um, you just managed to just very quickly tell them who you are. Pretending like I know who, where I'm going. <laughs> well, you've gone through here I before, so, but uh, they do stop you seeing as you are not a man of their faith passing through their halls. They, uh, upon giving your name, they just make, they very quickly back off of, from you, allowing you to get your way through as quickly as possible. Sounds like true love. Uh, <laughs> uh, you hear before you see him as just seeing just the sound of just metal clanking uh, from the other room uh, is Erod going at it. Uh, it seems to be with a, mon a multitude of just, just either metal dummies just holding out uh, just with a sword and he's just... Do I see this or is there a door in the way? Huh? Uh, it is an uh, open door, uh, but uh, as it I'm seems getting near it, I'll kick it open like. <laughs> as you as you as you kick it open, you see it very quickly turns to you with the sword, this great sword out. As you, oh, it's it's you. It's me. Well, it's, it's, it's time. It's time. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's go. Take it's, it's just Don't her back. It's just, it's just rushes towards you. As he just puts the sheaths, the sword, yeah. and just like rushes. Does. Does. You probably won't need any weapons, but yeah. He's, he's, he's taking yeah, the sword. sword. <laughs> he's yeah, taking the sword. Very well. As he just rushes towards you. Uh, 
She's like, let's go. Just, Woo! Uh, what's your speed? Uh, 30. Okay, so um, he is, he, you see as he rushes, he gets ahead of you and just like, come on. Uh, as he doesn't know where he's going. He is just eager. We're, go. taking, <laughs> we're taking a card, right? This guy is asking him. <laughs> If we must. No, okay, Unless you want to run all the way to the tower. If I can. I mean, it, it, we only have like an hour and a half, two hours tops. I can make that. But you don't have to. Yes, Let's I just do. take a card. Yes, I do. The guy just hobbles. <laughs> as he just sense. rushes. Uh, just about you. halfway, you see, as he begins to slow down, as the horses do eventually begin to out outrun him uh, but, uh, but he eventually accepts your offer and gets on at the, about the halfway mark uh, and makes his way as you all Come make on. your way you yeah, I can tell you like your character's like watching like Adam burning <laughs> him while he's running like, <laughs> <laughs> those glutes <laughs> yeah he is not direct the, the right the way, he was not directly keeping head and head but he was not that far off thick. on the horses but um you met guys make your way uh, towards the, to the tower. Yes. Uh, the entire ride there, he is talking about these creatures that he has faced, uh, about how he wrestled a crocodile when he was just an infant, uh, and so on. Oh, so. I'll, I'll tell him stories of, of my time at the temple and also facing wild creatures. <laughs> and I'll exaggerate every single one of them. <laughs> hey, he Not seems to just eat it up. Uh, How big was your crocodile? Like, 14 feet? Mine was 16 feet. 16! It was a house! Is this just big? Like, it's it's like, like midway through, he like pats you on the back, you damn near fall out of the cart. Is this guy like, drunk? Part of the floor, <laughs> huh? Is this guy drunk? No. Oh, no. On He's life? On life, yeah. Um, but, um, you, uh, Gray, uh, make an investigation check. Whilst you are reading through it. Actually, what languages do you speak? All of them. Oh, um, he speaks for the trees. <laughs> yes, I speak uh, common, druidic, sylvan, and other tongues. Cool. You can't read this book. What is it, Eric? Huh? You don't know. I don't it's have to be elvish. Can I have a look? <laughs> you don't know. You uh, can't look at a set of characters and know what language that is. Uh, I mean, yeah, I can tell the difference between, like, if yeah, I would, no, you can't. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. has fucking circles. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, yeah. well, <laughs> you do not know the language. And the seven dialects of Chinese. Israel. Yo. Cantonese and Mandarin. What's up? Come here. My am sitting next to you. <laughs> it's the entire oh, time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 you really gotta put, like, a bell on you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just find the bookshelf, like, <laughs> Do I know what language this is? Let me what language do you speak? Elvish and Celestial? No. Looks yeah, like a bunch of gobbledygoo. Oh! Ah, uh, uh, yes, it's trash. Uh, I speak Infernal. Take a look. No. no. Golem Boy, wow. what does this book say? What language do you speak? Common, Druidic, Sylvan, and Undercommon. Oh! I didn't hear undercommon. I didn't hear undercommon. I did, I knew that was what it was in. That's yeah, I, I, it, yeah. Underdog. I didn't hear. And, I didn't hear undercommon. I speak underdog. Honestly, did not hear undercommon. Uh, so you are able to read it. So make an investigation check in that case. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can you guys read this? Can you guys read this? Oh wait. I, well, I can. Oh, I can. Read it. I can. I can. <laughs> so, Sorry, horror. Just a humble brag. So what is it written in, buddy? I mean, what is what's your check, buddy? Investigation. Yes. Nine. Nine. Um, okay. So oh, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I don't know, but just w how much you can gather in this hour. Okay. Uh, so speed reading is not your forte. So uh, the very first chapter in it speak talks I'm about. I'm taking intricate notes. Okay, so the very first chapter of it talks about the drow and how they were swallowed up by the ground. Uh, and as you try to skip through, you, uh, you just not you don't get much if anything that is involved in the avalanche that you are going through. And this is a chunky, thick. Uh, so thick as Oris's uh, new love life. You, just, just, you, you, you try to like prevent like skipping too much, if it's just to not be, skip past yeah, the part yeah. about the app. But at this point, None you just like you haven't really gotten any, anything. 
from it. Okay. Well, that's um, I'm gonna put it in my bag. Huh? And then okay. It is. Okay. It is a psychopath. Okay. So, uh, at this point, you, um, Iggy and Gabriel, you two would have gotten back to the tower. Uh, is there anything else you would have wanted to do prior to the meeting? Oh, I'm showing Gabe my other tattoo. Your what? My other tattoo. Ah. No. Okay. <laughs> Um, like my, I have like my shirt lifted up, and it's like a uh, red and yellow peacock, very like artsy, like think more Art Nova kind of thing. It goes up to here and kind of ends like mid thigh, but I didn't pull it down my pants, so you don't see you that. See, you, you see, as he lifts up his. Uh, I was shirt. awake for that. You know, oh, yeah, 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 you see, as he lifts up his shirt for to show it. Uh, you see, as at this point, it's beginning to like ooze some clear liquid. Yeah. It's still incredibly painful, buddy. It smells horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking whiskey all day. Yeah. <laughs> Dehydrated and Drinking and then spilling a shot onto it. I was awake oh. for this. Oh, well. A little she, bit. She, I was she, asleep for a while. She's <laughs> calling you a bitch. You hear me from across town? Hey, <laughs> yeah. there was one. She's I calling you a bitch, dude. I'll pop out <laughs> of the trash. Oh, God. <laughs> the trash? <laughs> How'd you do that? I am trash, Rook. <laughs> so you're grouch. Yes. You the time passes. Eventually, you you two, uh, the rest of you see as Oris, uh, you do reach the tower. Um, uh, as you get to the front of the door, uh, you see as you mean, Arad just gets up to it. Oh damn this door! Fucking please! As each other oh, pushes God. it, <laughs> as it, she kind of like pushes it open as it begins to slowly what open. What is that? Uh, as, uh, Tarag, Tarag? Orad, A R R A D. Orad. Orad, me, the action faction. Let's see. He bursts through. Uh, Orad, you see, as he, as he, as he, short, as he, right? as he inch, huh? He's short, right? He is a Goliath. Oh, I thought you said he was a dwarf. He's no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you see, as shit. he enters, you okay. see, as he very quickly, like, draws his great sword. It's time! Where is he? Where is he? No. What? You said it was time. Yes, to discuss. Oh, damn it. Here, I take a seat. I looked behind him to see if <laughs> Venice is... showed up. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you mind to, uh, Or if he got run over. I don't know if he knows. <laughs> I don't know if he knows. No, does he know that Eccles is also currently running around in drag? Oh, yeah, we didn't. I was waiting. That's what we're here to talk about. Okay. She so. did. He did tell him. No, I didn't tell him. Yes, no. you did. Oh, I did? Yes, you did. Anyway. He said he, he is in the form, in he is in the woman's body. He said, the fucking coward. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, did we tell the higher up? I don't think we Not the yet. Way. No, we don't. So we might want to warn them in case she tries to come Nimrod in. steps into the city all willy-nilly. Use her real name? Atlas? In Nimrod's body? I mean, whatever. Yeah, not Nimrod. Nimrod. It's his accent. It's, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few moments pass, and you see it as <laughs> Zenith does enter Bode. through uh, the Hi, front Zenith. door. Bode. He just nods to you. Bode. Bode. You see as Urad turns around and looks at Zenith, and you see this just eye roll of the century from Zenith as they two look at each other. What is he doing here? Uh, you both have clerics. Fighting off and going up for this holy war, and which I think is a bad he idea. Is, uh, he is absolutely going to be no use. He's going to get us all killed. Okay, that's he fine. He doesn't do any killing. Look, here's the deal. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on, obviously, but there's also a lot of stuff we should know before we make any more decisions. Uh, we wanted to gather you guys here so we can all inform ourselves and then make the decisions that need to be done. Um, let's wait for the wizard to meet us down, down here. Though. And then we can start. I'm assuming like somebody set out tables and like seats. War room. Some let's get to the war room. Uh, no one has set up anything. Um, Golem. Are we there, or are we just in like a library? Are we like oh yeah, there? are we with? <laughs> uh, no, you are in the library reading until 
We need to go to. We need to go to. I'm pretty sure they heard the other guy charging. No, this is the massive tower. The library is on the almost top floor. I will step on. I will step on my carpets, pull out my guitar, and just simply sing, "Fly me to the moon." (laughs) Trying to get it to. If he doesn't shut up. Does it not? Does the carpet not lift me up? It it does lift you up. You are lifting. You are doing exactly what you're trying. Who's saying that? Huh? See, Arad. Arad? <laughs> oh, sure. you fucking pissed off horse in the new BF. Uh, <laughs> <but>. <laughs> if, if you ignore him, he'll eventually stop. Just don't cry. That's not true. Right. That song right. was for me, not for you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys eventually reach, uh, you, you, those of you who are in the library do see or more here as your friends are rising. Throw his book out the door. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Natural 20, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bud. <laughs> so you all are right, reaching <laughs> the top of the tower. So, heading over uh, to <laughs> Naxador's room, uh, you eventually reach the entrance. Uh, you see he, who, he has sort of beshovelly cleared some sort of s- space in the center, and there are ten of these little bean bags chairs that he was sitting on before I call the biggest scattered one. throughout the That's center the of the room. Big dorm room or something? Um, see, he has just like plumped in the same one who he was before, but now moved to the middle. Oh. Uh, is it time? I'm guessing as I just face plant onto a bean bag. All right. Gracefully. So. Horrendously. <sighs> official business now as he's like trying to like roll around. Roll in the chair. He doesn't get up, get does he? Doesn't no, he does it. No, he doesn't. He's like, he's like he, every time he like tries to stand <coughs> up from the chair, he kind of like sinks more into it. And he kind of like rolls around <laughs> until he's facing you. So we're all in the same room now, everyone? Yes. Is he like a big dude or is he regular? Uh, he's a tall, he's a regular sized human. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know if it was like we were looking at Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. Yeah. Has Raven Queen uh, is that guy, is, there? is he eyeballing me yet or no? No. All right, cool. Um, but uh, you see as... <laughs> is, is he at me up and down? Is he checking me out? No, yeah. that's not... Uh, you've been doing a different kind of relationship than you guys <laughs> have. Is he it's like a cat and mouse sort of thing, huh? You, playing hard again. No, so he is like, wants me dead, I think. Oh, right? Zenith probably hates me. Zenith just kind of like sits on the floor. To be fair, Zenith, I think, wants everyone dead. Zenith, make yourself comfy. I am fine. Uh, you see as Urad just kind of like jumps and like cannonballs and, <laughs> and just the, the bean Pops. bag just <laughs> <laughs> on the ground. That's more just, mess like, for Beckett to clean up. Just kind of like, oh, he's kind of like scooting it, the, the rest of the beans, as close to him as he can, as he just sits there. <laughs> so, shall we begin this discussion of what could be the end of the world? Yes. So, what have you gathered all of us here for? I thought we had discussed everything, or is there more? Yeah, we discussed most of it with you. Um, but uh, we wanted to get them up to speed so that uh, maybe they can guide their churches. There's, there's or offer insight to whatever we decide. Yeah, they're separate temples into hopefully a smarter, better path. Versus, maybe they can help. I don't know. Who does the Urad follow? Uh, Bahamut. 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 And they have resources. Is he powerful enough to get this thing out of the I don't know. Um, we'll bring that up as we go. Uh, should we bring that up first? Uh, is honestly, it hope? are you comfortable with that? Yeah, no. Are either of you capable of casting a greater restoration spell? No. Uh, Rod lets you know that he is a paladin. That's not a cleric. You <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> but Zen- he was a cleric. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just speak for the uh, Raven Queen, but he's not much in the business of yes. keeping people from not dying. Yes. Quite the opposite. Uh, or he focuses. Uh, majority of his spells die. focus on quickening the death, yeah. less than restricting it. So. 
Or it was like a remove curse. <coughs> oh, you did that? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, well, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Next, on to the next thing, yep. I guess. Next, next subject. Um, it can wait. Yeah, it can wait. We <laughs> only got well, six days. Well, from yeah. the Aquilus thing, how six long days. has it been? Like the actual like event. Like since two weeks? The since he was released. Yeah. <sighs> Took you a week to fly back. Uh -huh. You spent a week in Vendul. Uh, like Took you half. roughly a week to get here, so it's been about three weeks he's been free. Ooh, wow. Cool. Um, and I'm guessing. Or Zenith, uh, big guy. Your name again? Arad. Arad. How? What? Your clerics? When did they all leave? Or when's like the last uh, time you heard from them? Uh, they left uh, roughly about two and a half weeks ago. Have you heard from them since? They did. Yeah. If they were weak, they died. Like none of my men are weak. Nope. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, my friends here uh, saw a vision. I love this. We'll, we'll get to it in a second. So, um, starting from the beginning, the, uh, yeah. we uh, encountered some people called the Followers of Malak. Are you guys aware of these people? Uh, Zenith raises his hand. I am aware. Um, and Naxador also raises his hand. Ah, me too. They are uh, some dangerous cultists who... Um, who worship? Who do they worship? Moloch. That's what I was saying. Is that like a trick question? I'm just making sure. Who do they worship? Moloch. The follow the worshippers of Moloch, who um, oh. captured him and then took him all across to the eastern continent from the Bendelian Empire. So, in order to save that, save him, we traveled all the way to the Eastern Empire, which took us to Aklis's tower, Aklis's prison. Uh, you see, as Zenith uh, steps up, I would imagine, um, from what we have gathered um, over the history of Mulak, uh, we imagine that he is probably, you know, seeing as no one's ever directly confronted him, he is potentially either a demon or a devil. Uh, we do not know, um, but with that, it is possible that either he, uh, ha he or his followers, have made a deal with Atlas or Atlas's followers. I think so. Yeah. So it's important that everyone is on high alert for these Mulan followers. But uh, at Atlas Prison, we um, freed him, and in the process, Atlas was let go as well. He took the body of our friend, Nimra, who was a Bendelian. You hear um, again, coward. Huh? You hear again, coward. From the, the, from the who was a Bendelian officer. We give them a detailed <sighs> description of yeah. what she looks like. Uh, um, Naxador steps up. Um, with him possessing um, a Bendelian official, it kind of makes it difficult yep. uh, considering uh, us attacking her uh, would potentially get well, the wrong you message have to across. attack her, just don't let her in the city. And if others saw us fighting her, they could jump to the wrong conclusion and start a war. Regardless, this is what she looks like. This is, these are the facts. While we were on our way back, we all received messages from our gods letting us know that the world is ending and that we need to do something to stop it. Um, as I point to the other two, like you probably had this message around the same time about two not. weeks ago or so. Or so. They both not. Um, after this, we saw a vision of Nimra, who was... Uh, anchored at an island yeah and uh, unfortunately there was soldiers there seemed to be clerics and paladins uh, we're not were we sure what kind of pretty much every faith out there there seemed to be a lot of different ones and they all seemed to be either dead dying 
or possessed. Now we can confirm that this is a past, present, or future vision. We just know that when we've had these visions before, they've either already happened or are going to happen. So. Well, what is it you wish for us to do? Stop sending your fighters. Well, everyone who felt called, who was called, and who have felt it their duty to go after Akos has either already left so that's the thing you can't go after Aquas there it, it is a god see as Arad just like Stem. I will be sure to rip his head off whatever if vessel he takes he over you? Hmm? and if he takes your soul and makes you a part of his army then what I will not be as weak as those others who have fallen to him so and that's what we're working on we're working on a way to defeat it of course it always like him down um, we've heard of a um, certain artifact called the Six Pieces of the Chain that uh, we believe might be uh, might be a way of imprisoning Aquas back into his cell. There's also talks of the Maricorian wizards having the ability to seal a powerful, very powerful being into some sort of other artifact. And there's theories of maybe being able to kill Aquas as well. We that ranges from warmest to coldest, by the way, of uh, possibility. I see. Well, and what am I here for? You see his next door. It's kind of like Exodor, the who is that? Wizard. The, the wizard. Well, you're here, you're all here, hopefully to maybe pull your resources and help us find these pieces of the chain and maybe convince the we other empires of are. lending us theirs. Well, I... I mean, what do you think of these here? Well, well, I already told you, I don't think there's a way to really kill a god, uh, oh. but... Uh, well, what does these here? Contacting... The mages, or collecting the six pieces. Well, again, I've only got so much sway uh, with the other mages. My word could help a lot, but the best person to speak with, with uh, getting your permission to send you to either Centauri or whatever, uh, would be the mayor. The mayor. Yeah. To speak with him. Uh, and uh, Any other people that you think we should be talking to? Perhaps other uh, experts the in the, in the, the officials at each of the other kingdoms. And seeing if you plan on gathering the six pieces, you're going to have to get their sway as well. Any names? Uh, Would it help if you were to send out a letter prior to letting our arrival? It couldn't hurt, but uh, I do not know who is in charge of guarding the other pieces of the chain. Uh, so you're going to have to ask each of the leaders of each of the empires. But Can well, it would help, you said. Yes. Can one of you guys or all of you maybe grant us a some sort of seal of along with the mayor? I mean, some sort of seal of approval or of help that could uh, get us some viewing time with the other officials. Um, <coughs> she is each of um, the representatives from the temples bring out their holy symbol. Um, or a duplicate of their holy symbols and extend it to you. Um, you see as attached to it, you see, or not attached, but engraved in it seems to be some type of signature of sorts from them. We uh, hand these out to our um, representatives for our missions abroad and our foreign exchanges, whether they are sending our uh, clerics or warriors to another nation for some sort of aid, uh, but if you, Do you guys have any contacts in these other uh, kingdoms? Uh, no, but it's just a matter of the temples. Whenever we send one of our clerics or healers or whatnot to aid someone, this is our uh, 
way of showing that they were actually sent by us. Can I sketch the symbol in my notebook? Yeah, each, you see the, the Raven Queens once just <coughs> went up a raven. Uh, the Bahamut. So we could get like our own badges? That's just the action faction? I think it's a, it's a nine pointed star. I believe so. Uh, like it's a, a dragon. Like, oh, it's the action faction. Let us in. And they have uh, to, like, see open up Bahamut's the one to be like uh, that one of a Maybe. platinum dragon. Looks like. Are you giving those to us? Yes, yeah. so you can use this uh, to should be uh, known that you were sent by us. And it is official. Okay. I take one of. Is I take the two? Raven Queen. Yeah, one from the Raven Queen follower. Mm. Uh, one from Zenith and one I from I take Rod. the Raven Queen one. Nexador. Take one from Bahamut. I mean, Bahamut. I don't really have much sway on the other kingdoms. Blue-eyes I don't. Really, I'm not one to send out anyone. No one comes to me except for those. Again, the mayor. If you if you have something from him, uh, you'd have much more sway in the kingdoms. But we I, have. But we have help for you for the other thing with yes. the mages, at least. Okay. Did you send out that letter already, or? Message or something. Okay. Yes. It's a magical letter. Yeah, and he already said that. I've already contacted him. Okay. It's in pending, as they would call it. <gasps> Very well. Left on red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. And, and you folks, are you guys going to contact your other temples and let them know of this information so that maybe they won't send their, uh, their warriors to a early de- death? Uh, we can try and get in contact with our brother and sister. And around the uh, Fios, but um, our communications aren't as elite as Nexador's and not all of them have access to these magical components for instant communication. So we can send out our ravens, but it take time. But I'm sure whoever's left and who has already gone on a mission will probably get a letter within the week. Okay. What are you guys planning on doing? Uh, uh, Naxador uh, just says that he I plan on staying here as usual, protect the city as my family has for generations. And if the time comes when I absolutely have to, and I mean absolutely have to participate in anything, I may. Well, we do have to wait to try to get in touch with uh, the wizards from the other city. So yeah. who was the dude? Who was the guy who turned the one dude into a horse? Yeah, did, we, he did, say, did he say his name? Did he yeah. say his name? Doll. Adabadol. Adabadol. Do you know the Adabadol? You see his next door. Uh, next door, kind of like interrupt. Adabadol. You see, he is like rolling his eyes and kind of like leans back into his bean uh, chair. Very professional. You know this guy, I'm guessing? I've heard of him. Oh, so. Remember that tale about the cats and the nine lives? Yeah. Yeah. And he's one of those people who found, who looked into that. Because he's good old buddies uh, with the Archfey of Time. So he pops in and out throughout history all the time. Isn't that dangerous? Wait, there's, yep. someone who, there's someone who can travel through time? What? Wait, what? He can't, but his buddy can. Uh, so. What if we ask this guy to send us back and we fucking stop the whole thing from starting from the beginning? Do you know where we can find him? Good luck. Nope. <laughs> insight check. I can insight check. <laughs> Twelve. Nope. <laughs> Fourteen. Sorry. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He, again, if someone who's been he's been mentioned throughout eons, popping in and out. So he could be here now. He could come in at any second. You never know with that guy. <sighs> Well, we don't know, what what does he look like? So we can keep an eye out for him. Depends on what age he is at the time. Oh, shit, true. Mm -hmm. Uh, But him and old Wizzlin. Wizzlin? Who's that? The Archfey. Wizzlin? Yeah. 
He's the Archfey of time. what? Time? Oh. Yeah. I met him. I met him. Haha, <laughs> I was Wait. there. You met this person who can move through well, time? We, we, I was a squirrel. When did you meet him? He was a spider. We were in the woods. You weren't there. Oh, it's all those kids. You were going to mention this? We, <laughs> he did. I did. To who? The Everyone. directions that were given to us. That's why we went through the. I didn't, know, I didn't know he could go through time. That's why. And neither did I. I thought he was. He's the asshole who led us into the Underdark. So, so true. I look at next door and like, <laughs> why would he lead us into the next the uh, Underdark? Unless he thought it necessary. Good thing you remember that, huh? I don't know. He's a prick. Yeah, fuck that guy. But that prick is responsible for a xenomorph inside of her. What? Who's <laughs> 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 the Pope? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure, he had his reasons. Well, but whatever. Think I would be. <sighs> Note taken that the least we know now where we can get in touch with this meta. I know where we can get in touch with Wizlin from now on. Wizlin. Oh, yeah, my Ari I like being a kitty. What? And not when the scroll's beating your ass. I was a kitty. I suppose we should check back in with you tomorrow, then. I was tight scrolling. Why? Next to the door. Why? I don't think so. See if you've gotten word back from. And you're going to help us with her condition. I have a better idea. I mean, I already told you whenever you're ready, if you want to. Fine, we'll stay here. You don't say it. You well, don't have to play here. Uh, <laughs> you, whenever you're ready for me to do the, con the to do the ritual. So do you have like a cafeteria have in this place? <laughs> where's the Where's the tower bar? <laughs> we're not staying in the tower. Uh, Ninth floor tower bar. <laughs> Rooftop bar. Can we nice. I, shots? I am going to. Uh, so are we Are we done talking to? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing else the to talk about. Over, yeah. I'm gonna go over to um, next door <coughs> and uh, like, hey, show him the the book on the Underdark. I promise, I will return this. I do need to read it though, because this is very, very helpful with this yeah. to Hope's make situation. Make a persuasion check, please. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen. You can choose the rope or the book. Are you kidding me? I would okay, it. so what if he? I would take the, how much <laughs> would this water? What if he stays here help? and reads it? He doesn't take it. Well, he, just leave, he reads he it in your library. Back and reads it. Can we trade them back and forth? <laughs> no, like you just why? only use why? one at a time. Why? why? Why do you need both? Because you have so many magical items all over the place. Look at yes, this and then the next person comes in and asks for a bag of holding, and the next one comes in and asks I for already have a, a necklace of teleportation. I simply need it to take notes, and then once I have what we need, I will return it to you. Post haste, sir. That would be 17. Bring it back tomorrow. Perfect. All nighter. This I, yeah, some, I'm not going to some stimulating right. drugs. And, uh, I'd help you, but I can't read. So. <laughs> can't read. Uh, you see, uh, um, Zenith tells you that he is still staying here uh, in Aurora Road until it is time for whatever he was called for to do so. Uh, Arad informs you he is heading out into the world to face Actus. Can't stop him. Oris, I'll understand if you want to go with him. I give him a uh, one of those one of those arm handshakes. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Arnold not his yeah, exactly. his, ah. his hand goes un that's around not his arm. your entire forearm. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm like, man, the storm guide your way, doing? brother. <laughs> brother, <laughs> brother. Ah! <laughs> the embrace <laughs> lasts <laughs> awkwardly <laughs> long. <laughs> yeah. They stare into his eyes. Stare into his eyes. Why is there see. sweat running down oh, both their faces? Is he? He's bald, right? Huh? Is he bald? He is very bald. Probably his glass. Shiny forehead. Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> but does he have a beard? Huh? He does not. Uh, or a slice of beard. <laughs> <laughs> Zenith, would you like to grab a drink tonight? I'll pass. Uh, 
trying to make friends here. I, I'm, okay. I'm already Stop out the door the getting on the I gave like, up on carpet that. to go down because <laughs> I am very aware that I have very little time with this book. I'm like, yeah, every everyone. second that I'm not focused on walking, I am reading. Okay. Everyone's heading out? Yeah. Okay. And you guys are leaving and heading back uh, to, I'm guessing, Beckett's. On the yep. way out, can I do one last perception check for key orby thing? Uh, yes. One for the road. Come on, baby. Roadie. Ah, what is it, perception? Yes. Ah, it's 13. Nope. Um, As we're leaving, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll come up to Reginald Anderson. Um, and tell him that. <laughs> I ask him if he could speak to his father and uh, give him a, just a preemptive speech before we meet him. Just yep. inform him of uh, the gist of it. I want to know. Uh, yeah, so heading back to Beckett's house. Uh, yeah, on the yeah. way, can I just say to the group, so can we just agree that we don't necessarily like this Aboleth anymore? <laughs> No, I yeah, no, I no, I, I don't like him at all. If I could kill him, I would, but unfortunately, someone told me that the thing can't die. Uh, you all are shameless. Uh, you hear? So this means that we, our deal has come to an end. Oh, uh, you fuckers! <laughs> you cuckold in son of a bitch! <laughs> can you guys just chill? We can probably figure something. Yeah, out. I know. We're just joking. Uh, Ethel, make a charisma Is saving. Beckett coming home with us? You're pregnant too. <laughs> <laughs> at the, at the the charisma. We've all got chest exploders in us. <laughs> Twelve. Cool. So oh, you like guys uh, see this as you guys are walking. Uh, once again, someone bumps into you, and you see as Ethel goes. What? And Ethel is gone. Uh, no. What? Uh, no. Hey. Put it what? back. <laughs> All because what happens you got pregnant. Then? <laughs> 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 what happens next? You just can't even <laughs> we will find out next oh, week. Uh, okay, <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. That was a bad joke. That was a horrible joke. I need to find, I take it yeah, back. I have to find a book. Cthulhu knocked up my girlfriend. <laughs> Hope everyone had like fun. <laughs> I know I did. Thank you, everyone, what <laughs> for watching. Uh, Does that mean you don't show up next week? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Have a week off. Two new characters. <laughs> Hope Ithril. I already have mine. Ithril. Same. What's up, guys? Right, right in Manhattan, downtown. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to be a really cool elf <laughs> ranger next week. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Rhymes with high low. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hi, guys, for, Hi, for being <laughs> with us. Thank you, everyone at home at Twitch. Thank you for all of our fans, followers, and subscribers. We really appreciate it more than we can say. You guys are the best. Is this the end of, best. Best. of Yo? Uh, thank you again to Blue Raven Studios for providing us with the space and time. Oh, yeah. Again, if you're interested, please wrong. be sure to check them out at BlueRavenStudios.com. You should have signed out with that other voice. Not no. That was such a hard voice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was something. All right, guys, and you uh, all say it with me. May the storm guide your way. No. 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 Never. No. Never. 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 Never.